look around Leaves are brown And the sky Is a hazy shade of winter the recap who wants to do it i'll do it all right let's get it all right i'll be pretty quick this time uh mm -hmm. so we decided to go to east haven along with uh Vlin, uh in order to fight this dragon because it is causing, ha causing havoc across all the 10 towns uh after a little bit of uh travel we end up taking a break uh gabar ends up going through some of Vlin's stuff uh this is really trustful in mostly just because a she's a necromancer and b we're not really quite sure what her entire motives are and it's uh, kind of freaking us out, honestly. Necromancer uh, doesn't bother me so much. Motives do. Yeah, motives definitely, because she's very vague about all that stuff. Uh, but anyway, uh, we end up going over to East Haven. We see that there are um, pillars of smoke around East Haven, as well as uh, possibly the Cares. Uh, we go inside of the uh, town hall in East Haven. Where oh, actually, we go inside East Haven. We free. We help this elderly woman who is being taken out. Not really taken out, but like getting robbed by two thugs, which Quintus ends up killing, just stabbing them both in the back. Uh, we also end up freeing this one guy from the rubble, and we go in to go and help uh, Speaker Whalen and Arlagath, uh, who we're both trying to find. We see that Speaker Whalen is dead, uh, killed by the Duragar, but we don't really see where Arlagath is. Uh, but uh, apparently, according to the guy uh, that we saved, uh, she was actually taking up the front lines for the uh, dragon, but we're not really even quite sure where she is at this point. Uh, so we end up going over to, uh, I forgot, Bryn Shander. Uh, yeah, so we end up going to Bryn Shander in order to see, uh, in order to, like, get, because apparently everybody's going to Bryn Shander now because that's, like, the middle of the town. Every other town around the area is getting, uh, blasted by this dragon, pretty much according to, uh, Zardarok's plan. Uh, we see this one caravan kind of going down, uh, to... Uh, we see this one caravan kind of going down. We see this uh, one person, a dwarf named uh, Jarthra, who was apparently a part of the uh, Care Koenig and uh, was planning on escaping with a bunch of people. Uh, she told us that Speaker Trovis was killed in the attack on Care Koenig. And when they went to Care Denival in order to try and get inside, their speaker just straight up just like said, no, you're not going in and just shoved them out in order for like half of their party to die, which sucks. So now we're uh, all essentially going to care that, uh, to Brimshander. And now there's like a crap ton of people in Brimshander and we're trying to figure, figure out what exactly to do with everything in here. And I guess uh, since this is the last town to be attacked and this thing is going to essentially make a landing in Brimshander at some point, there's gotta be a defense at some point. So we have to, so we go into speak with uh, Speaker Seaver and uh, tell, Tell them about the plan. Uh, and we also, along the way, as we try to go to uh, speak with the speaker, <laughs> speak with the speaker, uh, we see these like one, there's see, like, a few people in cloaks that we assume are Max Lindenar and a bunch of his goons. And we do see Spider among uh, that kind of group as well. Mm. And we kind of assume that like, this guy's up to no good. They are probably gonna end up killing the speaker of Rimshander like during the chaos. So we let her know that, like, yeah, this guy's also in the mix as well. You got to make sure to keep that, keep good track of her, uh, keep good track of them. Uh, I say Speaker Seaver, but it's actually sure, Shane. Speaker Tavessa Shane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seaver is the, Seaver is the asshole in that of all. Yep. Uh, 
we speak with them. Apparently, uh, the Speaker of Goodmead did survive and is within the uh, and is within uh, Brimchander as well. His speakership is being contested at the moment, and uh, we see that there are a bunch of bunch of stuff is happening as well. Um, we are, there are more Duragar that are attacking the town, but also there's a big old blizzard that's uh, potentially threatening the. Uh, it's kind of coming in around the same time this dragon is attacking as well. So we have to deal with all of that stuff as well as a dragon possibly coming in to destroy everybody within the 10 towns that lives within Brimshander <laughs> right now. So our current plan of attack is to kind of meet this dragon outside of Brimshander and try to pull them down, try to pull this dragon down and attack it. But if that doesn't work, then uh, we just go inside and try to attack uh, this dragon within Brimshander. Pretty much. If missed anything, then let me know. No, I think that's basically it. Um, where we last left off, you guys were uh, leaving Speaker Shane's office um, to go meet with Arla Gath because she, you found out that she's in town. She's at the North Wall or she's at the North Gate. Um, and you were going to go find her basically and talk to her. And we sort of come in on you guys, you know, finishing your conversation with Speaker Shane, and she's expecting you to come back and tell her the plan. Right. And she uh, and you guys turn around to leave. And as you do, the doors are opened by the guards standing outside and bursting in, panting, <laughs> is a human young ish. They have goggles on and their face mask has sort of been pulled down and they have snow that is gathered around where the face mask was. Um, they're, they have a, uh, a little bit of a mustache and it's got ice frozen in it. They have ice frozen in their hair. Um, it looks like they've been traveling like all day in the, in the tundra. Um, and as he bursts through the door, he says, Milady, Milady, urgent news. And uh, Speaker Shane sort of straightens up and holds out her hand like, wait, wait a second. And he, he looks at the, the you guys, right? As if like, should he continue what he's about to say? And the speaker says, proceed, Mr. Coldry. And uh, he says, yes, ma'am. Uh, as the dragon flew west across the tundra from Kerr Koenig to Tourmaline about four hours ago, it was harried midway through. Apparently, the battle hammers and the silver streams of the, Durv the Dwarven Valley ambushed it. They had a ballista and catapults. They grounded it momentarily, wounded it. And uh, she's nodding her head. Very good. Very good. And, uh, and he says, the dragon nearly wiped out their entire forces, though. But, but they, they damaged it. They damaged it enough for it to flee. It's not an indestructible force, my lady. It can be destroyed. And um, as she's saying, that, uh, as this courier is saying this, um, she's nodding her head and, and Sheriff Southwell, he's there as well. And uh, he he sort of scratches his beard and says, the dwarves never leave their hallowed halls. Wonder what has convinced them to risk themselves like this. One mean motherfucker. Yeah. You you wouldn't have to have anything to do with this, would you? So I think it is. Might be Lynn. We also would get all their asses together. Lynn Trollbane. The very same. He he nods, and uh, the courier says, "That's our the the speaker says uh, that's all, Mister." Coldry on your way. And he says, Yes, ma'am. And he fucking exits. And you guys are welcome to do whatever you need to do from this point. Where to next? What do you want to do? Yes, we should go see Arla Gath. Okay. Um time to waste. The uh the speaker, you know, bids you Farewell, and for now, she needs you to come back though and tell her the plan. <laughs> um, so, uh, actually, before I leave, I'm going to speak yep. to uh, the speaker and say, uh, "Hey, what do you know of the uh, the people from Termaline? The what do I know about the people from Termaline? I mean, like, have they survived? Oh, 
And she doesn't know. She hasn't seen any. No, there has there hasn't been reports of people coming from Termalane yet. I see. Yeah, it'll probably be a couple hours. Most recent news is from the Dwarven Valley. Yeah, and if it flew across four hours ago, then the dragon probably hit Termalane right, right immediately after that. Right. So, yeah. Okay. So it's 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 they're probably getting attacked as we speak. Um, is what she'll say, anyways. Okay. Termalane or Lonelywood are probably getting attacked right now. Um. All right. So, what do you guys want to do? Arlegath. Um, Arlegath. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, as you guys uh, head towards the north gate, um, there's still the same sort of thing that I described: people crowded all around. There's refugees sort of getting sorted into strangers' homes, you know, and and in in their cellars and stuff like that. Like it's it suddenly all these petty rivalries between all these ten towns have disappeared, and these people are all trying to survive together. Um, there is a tiny bit of chaos, but it's mostly under control. A battalion, a small battalion of uh, like militiamen, sort of march across the street in front of you as you guys here make your way past black iron blades and as you pass black iron blades uh you can see that there's a horse-drawn sled out front and it is currently loaded to the t's with crates of weapons and armor and all the the metal work that uh garn the hammer does and you can see garn sort of take a crate and load it up and he's talking to his sister elza and he says, I bet those blasted battle hammer dwarves wouldn't just give up their wares to a bunch of humans. And, uh, you know, the, the sister sort of reassures him that the, the weapons are needed. You know, if there's no one that left to buy, then what's the point? So he's just kicking the dirt and really pissed off. Um, you make your way up towards the... Uh, north look and you can see that actually you can pass by the house of the morning lord too like you can see it down the street i'll just tell you what's going on there real quick the house of the morning lord is probably the building that's doing worse the the people there are worse off than anyone else in 10 towns right now um they are there is many 10 towners that are wounded from the attack the place is so overrun and underprepared and understaffed that some severely wounded refugees lie on the steps outside with bloody blankets, um, just trying to get help. Um, you can see that there are like a few local women trying to like help tend to the wounded, but medical supplies are basically absent. Um, you can also see that uh, as you guys like sort of walk by it, you could see that there's these two men that are carrying something amongst each other, you know, one holding the front and one holding the back, and it's draped over with a with a blanket, and they're carrying out what appears to be a corpse around the back of the temple of the Morning Lord, um, and the whole place is surrounded by like crying families and. And it's, it's really rough at the House of the Morning Lord. Um, you can also see that the North Look is packed with people trying to get in. If, um, if we're quickly just like going past the Morning Lord, I'd, I'd like to drop off six gold and three rations to just like... Somebody? I'm sure, it's just yeah. an absolute gong show. But... Yeah, there is there is like a young woman uh, who's like, I mean, she must have just turned 20. And uh, she has already she's given her coat to someone else, and so yeah. she's like freezing cold. And and you you hand out your the rations and stuff to her, and she thanks you so much and moves on uh, to the next you know screaming bloody person. Yeah, sure. Um, so you guys uh, you know pass the north look again. It's fucking packed, and this is like right by the north gate where there is a shitload of people still sort of filing in. Um. And you can see that uh, on top of a uh, like a same thing as the the gate that you came in, the east gate, there's a cart that's sort of parked 
out inside the gate and there's like four militia people standing on it, sort of barking orders and ushering people into the city. And you can see that one of those people is Arlagath. Her red hair tied up, unlike how it usually is. She's covered in soot and blood and she is still going. Um, what would you guys like to do? I will head over to her and I'll say, uh, I'll guess. She turns towards you guys and sees everybody and she says, you're alive. And she jumps down from the cart and she just like runs and hugs Sapphira. Oh, I... glad to see you are okay. I can't believe that you're alive. She like goes to hug somebody else, um, like V goes and hugs V. Um, you guys can tell that not only is she covered in blood, dirt, and soot, but she has a terrible, horrible burn over one of her arms. Um, it's been magically healed, but like her armor and clothes are still tattered from it. But there's just this terrible, terrible burn over her whole arm. Um, and you can see like her clothes were singed and stuff like that. And she like hugs you guys. You know, you made it. You're alive. We are. So, what's the status on everything? It doesn't look great, she says. After the East Haven attack, I led most of the people here. We Speaker saw. Speaker Whalen. He, he didn't make it. We saw. We know. We stopped by East Haven uh, after we were finishing up some other stuff and saw the aftermath. April. Did you take care of it? The Durgar. There's the other uh, few that we, we found, yeah. But, uh, there was still some left in East Haven. Invisible ones. They they killed Speaker Whalen. I think some. that most cities had uh, some sort of little outpost of uh, Durgar hiding somewhere to clean up whatever survivors were left from the Shardland dragon attack. Uh, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if there were more in uh, Bryn Shander, to be honest. Monsters. There are not like four of them, but I doubt that was even half. Monsters. And she sort of looks down and you can see her start to get caught up in the whole gravity of the situation, but she pulls herself back through, out, back out, Right, and because she's a fucking leader, this bitch is no fucking joke. So she pulls herself back out of this sort of pit of despair, and she says, "There, there is a, there is hope, though." And 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 she like looks all of you dead in your eyes, and she says, "We were ready. We were ready for an attack. You warned us that they were coming, and we were ready. And we had a sizable enough uh, militia that the dragon, when we resisted." It seemed surprised. We were able to fight. we were able to react quickly. It can be damaged. We had that other shot down. Shot down? Over the Dwarven Valley, the dwarves came out with ballista and apparently grounded the beast. Uh, but least. for momentarily before they were all destroyed, but... It's still coming, then. Yes. Right. Have you seen the beast? We did. Yeah. Yes. Have you seen what it can do? Uh, the remains of East Haven? We've also heard what it can do. Nothing prepares you for it. Um, somebody in East Haven mentioned there was this maddening feeling being close to it. Yeah. Yeah. How close was the creature when this started happening? It's, it's unclear. I, I, I can explain. 
when the attack first started, the dragon used its breath weapon to strafe the town from the air. It never landed. It started at the east end of town and slowly worked its way westward, clearing the streets and obliterating homes. And it took seven hours. But the dragon only managed to destroy half the town's structures, including most of the docks. The White Lady Inn partially collapsed when the dragon flew through it, and the wet trout was raised, but the town hall and the East Haven Ferry were spared. The dragon, let's see if I actually. Yeah, I'll just read it verbatim because she, she gets to it. After strafing, the dragon landed and started going building by building, destroying everything in its path. There's an unusual, unusual intelligence about this creature. <laughs> but as you said, what we never would have expected Though we probably should have. It's the effects of that amount of chartling would have on people. The dragon didn't only strafe with its breath weapon. While it was recharging, it would fly close to the ground, upwards of 30 feet, and smash through buildings with its body. When it got close enough to the ground, it can emit devastating effects with its armor. The same as what happened to that man back in East Haven. It turned folks' eyes black and they became enraged and started attacking each other. Brother against brother, against dragon, against Durgar, she says. And then you can see the, you know, the sort of war playing out behind her in the background, sort of in her mind. Um, it was utter chaos. I lost a quarter of our ranks just from the madness of the Chartalin or the attacks that followed. But we managed to pull through. <sighs> because it was something, but it was something I fear I may have to endure again. And she sort of looks out over all these refugees that are filing in behind you guys. Whenever it gets close to the ground, this effect happens. We're going to cut it off before it gets to the town, or at least try to. Uh, I'll turn to Quintus and ask, um, didn't we want to warn her something about Maxil Denar's men? Um, I believe we saw them entering. Yeah, be on the lookout for uh, guy with the spider tattoo, some hooded folks. Why? Yeah. I think bad news. I don't know what he would try to pull now, but there's probably an opportunity for something here, but Nerith Maxil Dinar is here with his crew. I never did trust that, Max Dinar. The time for coyness is over. That's... Max Dinar is definitely plotting something. He was just but, trying to run away from imminent But wait. Did you say you were going to fight the dragon before it gets to the town? Yes. By yourselves? That's right. That's we were actually just going to ask. I mean... At first we were. I don't know if you have anybody. I don't really think you would have anybody to assist us in this. My hands Honestly, are tied. The Charlin madness might make them a liability anyway. Listen, I organized and led the charge on the dragon while it was grounded. Spears, javelins, arrows, they hardly did anything at all. However, my sword... She says, as she, like, touches her sword on her hip. It was effective enough. It's magic. 
And I'll tell you, I did battle with that dragon face to face. And I didn't last very long. I barely made it out alive had it not been for a halfling cleric who was passing through East Haven when the attack started. She healed what my part. Go ahead. I was going to say, and what of her? She healed my burns and brought me to safety to recover. Last I heard, she was headed up to the care towns. Which if she could offer aid there. Is her name Perilu, by chance? Her eyes light up. Fishfinger. Yeah. A cleric of Yondala. Yeah. You know her. We saved her from some yetis. You saved the life that saved mine. I was like, how lucky that we did that after all. <laughs> There's a couple more things that I want you to know. I've seen this dragon. I've seen its tactics, studied it. The dragon usually strafes in an arc. It starts at about 120 feet and arcs down to about 90 feet and then arcs back up. It usually flies up to about 300 or 350 feet while circling back around, just out of missile range. But the strafing arc varies. As I said, occasionally it would swoop down as low as 20, 30 feet, flying right through buildings with its metallic body before going back up to strafe again. That might be... That might be an opportunity for us if it dives down, but hopefully, you know, it doesn't get to Brinchander. But if it does... I that hope... might be where we can... I hope you can handle it as well. And I wish that I could join you in facing this dragon once again. But my life is more important now than it was in East Haven. My people need me. If After you, uh, good. If you don't mind me asking, uh, this sword that you used, mm -hmm. what exactly does it do? It's um, really good at slicing stuff. It's a plus one. Okay. Hmm. It's just magic. Well, that's that's the. It's light. It's fast. It cuts through things with little resistance. What kind sometimes, of sword? Is it? Uh, it's his uh, long sword. Long sword. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Maybe she says that some sometimes she feels like she's gonna miss something, and the sword guides her to it. Because it's a plus one. So sometimes she misses and then it gets that plus one and it hits. <laughs> um, but she will say that not only does her people need me, but the militia needs me. I've seen what destruction this monster can bring and I'm wiser for it. I can help these people survive. My duty is to East Haven. However, your duty it's to the Ten Towns as a whole. I do not envy your burden, but I regret that I cannot carry it with you. Uh, she, she like puts a hand on Big Smile's shoulder or something when she's saying all this. When plan A fails, be ready for the dragon to make it here anyway. We'll be ready. Uh, if you hear a loud ringing in your head, uh, that'll that'll be us giving you a word in that it's coming. Very good. I wish you all of Talos's fury in the fight to come. May he guide your blades through the storm. One of the Lord's blessing to you as well. Good luck. See you on the should other I side. Ask her, should I ask her for that sword? 
No, that's her no. sword. She fucking right. needs her yeah. sword. Two magic Are you weapons. Fucking I was, kidding me? I was gonna <laughs> yeah, bring her my we have magic though. weapons. She is not giving up her fucking awesome sword. Are you kidding me? Oh. Wait, just charm her. Give up the sword. She's <laughs> about to fucking demolish was, some dirt. I was gonna trade her the axe. <laughs> no, no, she wants her sword. That's, okay. It's been in her family for a long time. Oh, yeah, you have the jihad kala. So. Yeah, you have the jihad kala. The one d six. It's not as cool. <laughs> that's true. Um, all right. Is there anything else you want to talk to her about? I think we gotta start making tracks here. Don't die. Yeah. Yeah, stay alive. See you on the other side, she says. And you guys like start to walk away, I guess. And as you do, she sort of gets surrounded by the crowd of people that are still filing in. Um and where do you guys want to go now? I, I should go tell uh, speakers that uh, Duvessa Shane about our plan. I don't know that as unlikely as it is, we'll try and most likely things are going to end up leading back here. What, what exactly are we planning? <laughs> Probably we'll going off, to our but... certain death outside the city walls, far away from any hope of cover or uh concealment from a dragon did did we want to try and and ground it in targos or halfway i don't like being that far away from Bryn shander is the only thing if, if we do go to targos and we do catch it there and it escapes to come back to Bryn Shander would be we get lost hours. in the blizzard on the way back what is this an hour and a half right mm. through a blizzard I think it's two I think it's two hours um, walk so an hour ride I guess I'm just worried about missing it that's all yeah, no, I, I see what you mean. Flying straight above our heads when we know for a fact it's going to land in Tarkos. I just don't want to give up an opportunity. That's true. I mean, even if it's doing that building crush thing where it's low to the ground, there's a lot of buildings in Bryn Chander. I don't think we're going to be able to follow it, be on its tail the whole time. They said it's pretty quick. Honestly, I think Targos is a halfway decent idea given how much of a long shot going out on the road is. I could lead us through the storm. I, I agree. I, I think Targos and fighting this thing after it's strafed all the buildings and on the Well, ground, here's the thing. Play. When you guys... So right now you have to rest. Um, because you traveled too much today. That's so you true. have to rest. And by the time you guys get done resting, I guess Speaker Shane would, she was going to tell you when you come back to her. But basically, you guys have about 10 hours before the dragon will be in Bryn Chander. That's a lot of time. Yeah, but you have to have an eight-hour rest. Yeah. Oh, I have ten hours from now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we could catch it in Targos, kind of on the on the very back end. That's by yeah. estimations. We don't know if it's going to go faster or slower. True. If we try to make haste, we might be able to. Yeah. What's really going to suck though is if you guys travel all the way to. Targos, and he's just leaving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you guys have to literally turn around, then, and then it's, it's an entire yeah, hour of well, wasted well, time. Then we, then we try our original plan, trying to ground it. Yeah, I guess that was that would be the plan anyway, because he wasn't going to stop for us anyway. Yeah. We're going to try to make him stop, I thought. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so if he's... If we're chasing him down... 
You could still do that, right, Elikim? I could try. How close do you gotta be? It can be quite far. Um, let's look here. Good. Yeah, 300 feet. That's good. And kid, what's that range on your your vortex warp thing? Yes, I can I can do it up to about 120. So if Illican misses the first time, I can put him a little further forward to try a second. But the storm is gonna come while you guys are sleeping. By the way. Yeah. Fuck. Which means that we're probably not, I can't see that far in a blizzard. What if we travel to Targos now? You can't. I'm, I'm pretty tapped. Yeah, yeah, you can't. can't really you you did too. You you mm. went you went over your amount of travel today. Unless you guys want to like do some con checks. We'll push. No, yeah, we I might push uh, uh, exhaustion. But I can't. I I'm at we'll one level of exhaustion. Back. If I fail one, uh, then I'm you got to get it back. Yeah. 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 You got to get. That's it back. right. Yeah. Okay. So there. We need to. I'd, I'd say exhaustion. there's no chance of going to Targos. Yeah, you guys are fucking beat. You literally just like kicked Zardarok's ass. And then, like, did that whole war thing with the Durgar, and then left, and then traveled the entire time, and showed up at Bryn Shander, and now you're fighting a dragon. You know, it's been like boom, 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 boom for you guys. Your bodies are fucking beat. Yeah, we need to I'm rest. no it's spring rest. chicken anymore. I, we gotta power down. Plus, I would like to sleep on my couch one more time before I die tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Let's, let's let the speaker know of our decisions and we'll uh, get the as soon as possible. So are we trying for Targos in the morning or? It's just so risky. I, I think it would have to try it. either way. I'm just worried about getting lost in the blizzard. If, if, we, if we don't make our way through. Will we even see that thing in the blizzard? Well, why don't we see how the weather is tomorrow morning? Illican and I can suss out how feasible it is to run around in a blizzard. All right. Very well. If the veil's too thick, it might just not be worth it. The visibility issue is definitely cause for concern. I can hunt in severe weather, but casting a spell hundreds of feet at a a metal dragon, or a crystal dragon, rather. It is, it is very risky to do in a storm. It's no normal storm either. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go talk to the speaker. Head back to my place. Try and muster what sleep we can, and then see what she's looking like in the morning. Okay. Um, I I want to ask Brendan what's today's date. Um, is it the fourth or the fifth? Tell me they're doing a freaking lottery. No. I have the fourth down. You have the fourth down? I have the yeah, fourth. I think it's the fourth. Yeah, see, I had the third written. So when you yeah, guys sleep and wake up. Yeah, but that was before Sunblight. Yeah, so then you sleep and wake up, it'll be the fifth, right? Yeah, so we had one sleep on the road since Sunblight, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's after tonight, it'll be the fifth. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure that's right. Um, okay. So, uh, you guys go and talk to Speaker Shane. What do you tell her? Like, we can just wave, hand wave this. It's not really important. What do you tell her? What we just talked about. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, if visibility is halfway decent, we'll try for Targos. If it's not, we'll try the road. Okay. Um, Probably. Try and meet it outside the southwest gate. Okay. Um, she does explain to you guys that the dragon will be here in probably 12 hours, or 10 hours is what she says, um, because of the, like, she, she had gotten that information. Okay, done. What do you guys want to do now? Big Smile's yeah. awesome. All right, so you're going to Big Smile's house? <laughs> All right, so you guys travel to the outskirts of town. Um, the uh, the it's not as populated out here, you know. There's not as many people funneling in out here. Um, and you walk up to Big Smile's house. Looks the same as it ever did. 
Did you leave that fucking symbol painted on your door? There was a spider skull symbol. I'm sure somebody would have pressed it. Did you wipe it off? off, Okay, yeah, all right, all right. I just want to make sure because it would still be there. (laughs) Fuck. I don't think Um, nobody cleaned that. that (laughs) Yeah, I'm sure that you guys cleaned it before you left. So you guys go to Big Smile's house. Um, Do you guys allow Valin to come with you? It's your house, Big Smile. Up to you guys, yeah. Uh, we could make room. Okay, she will go. She will at, at request that can her kobolds come too. She'll leave the undead ones outside of town, but if her live ones could come, that would be great. She does have one that's following her around. That's three in a stack, but that leaves two <laughs> behind. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll make room for you, Blin. Thanks. One, one of the, the one of the kobolds do. sticks their face out of the trench coat and says, "Thanks, that's really helpful." And then you know, kind of goes back in. <laughs> um, all right. So we uh, we you know sort of cut to everybody's inside Big Smile's house. There's a fire in a fireplace. Everybody's sort of sitting around, hanging out. Uh, the kobolds are. Uh, the kobolds are in Big Smile's kitchen and they're like trying to cook some sort of soup. And they, they're also like, one of them's balancing on the other one's shoulders as it's sort of like a, a ratatouille type situation where they're like trying to tell each other how to cook and there's a huge mess in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, but after a while, they do make some semblance of food that tastes fine, but it's so fucking salty. They poured Uh-oh. the whole thing of salt in there. So... <laughs> Adds um, more flavor. Yep. So, what do you guys want to do? Anything you guys want to talk about? As soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we live tomorrow before we clean up this huge mess now. Okay. Um, and Kabar, if you wouldn't mind on the alarm, I'm paranoid about Max Eldenar's friends. I'm already casting it. <laughs> okay. Um. As you guys are sort of resting in the living room, some on the couch, the co- you know, the kobolds are laying down. You know, not everybody has moved to a bedroom quite yet. Blynn this whole time has been with her one eye staring at the fire with her hands sort of crossed. And uh, she looks over everybody. And uh, she says, I, I told you all that I was a hot pal, didn't I? That's right. She seems to be getting very uh, introspective suddenly, you know, with death on the door and all that. Um, she says, um, even though my family is well known for the magical capabilities, I I didn't realize my full magical potential until quite late in my life. Only about a decade ago. I've always struggled with this. And she holds her hand out and you can see it fucking tremors, right? Because she shakes real bad. She says, I've had it since I was a little girl. But even despite my incredibly firm grasp of magic as it stands, I would not have been originally admitted into the Arcane Brotherhood as an apprentice had it not been for my family connections. And you can see that that really pisses her off. I take every advantage you can get, right? Yeah. But I want more than anything to prove myself, not only to the Arcane Brotherhood, but to my family as well. She looks over at the group of you. She was looking at the fire the whole time, and now she like turns over at everybody. And she says, I need your help. I need your help with something of great importance. But I think it's not the dragon. N- no. 
And in fact, I'm reluctant to share more information until the dragon is dealt with. There are more pressing matters than my own objectives. And when the dragon is no longer an immediate concern, I, I can confide more information with you. I help you, you help me. But if I don't make it through tomorrow, and she sort of trails off for a second, and one of the kobolds goes, you'll make it, boss. Um, she sort of nods and she says, I, I want to tell you something. I, I knew the red wizard, Zan. He killed the winter's cabinet in East Haven. But whatever he found out there in the tundra, it might hold important information for my mission. If I am know, God, do you know what he found? They said it was a spire. I I don't know what that means, and I wish I could share more, but I I feel I should not. However, should I die, I would ask that you go find the spire and discover what information it holds. This is this all I ask? We know who else searches for it. We know who found it probably already, considering that we gave them the map. You, you knew its location? We had the map. So oh, it's, it's not what you... It's not what you told me. Uh, you didn't yeah, tell well, us that you knew Zan. Tit for tat. It seems that way, yes. Oof. I'm sh I'm sure. This, Go ahead. This mission you're on, though, it, it's, it's something for the Arcane Brotherhood? You can tell that she's like reticent to share more. Why don't you make a persuasion check? She might give you a little little hint, a little hint. A little season two hint. Intelligence persuasion, wizard to wizard. Uh, I'll allow it. Are you proficient in persuasion? No. Okay. I was stretching because I know you got a shit charisma, right? <laughs> uh, I don't have shit. I have a plus one, so I'll just, I'll just I'll just roll it as a. Yeah, let's get a persuasion. Let's see what you get. Well, right. I, it wasn't supposed to be an advantage. No, it, it's a, it's, it was right. Um, she says... Yes, it's for the Arcane Brotherhood, in a sense. But it holds potential to be for the world. It's been awfully vague. But I wish I could say more. Let's focus on the task at hand. Well, if you do say die, this is... then, um, no, you say let, let, is... let, let Quintus say what he was going to say. If you do die, don't be so stingy with the information afterwards. She gives a grim smirk, um, as if she understands. Could I, uh, could I try and detect thoughts, surface thoughts, when she's Ooh. talking to uh, Gabar? Yeah. Make uh, uh make a uh, make an uh, make an insight check. Yeah, with advantage because she's sort of uh, guarded, right? Sure. Uh, um, you do get this sort of feeling in her mind of um like she when she's saying that she's sort of being what's the word like cool about it right she's being like calm about it um with withholding a little bit however inside you can feel the emotion of like excitement and elation at something that could possibly change the face uh -huh. of the world 
So it's more excitement than fear or anxiety. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'll say, uh, does this have something to do with the the endless winter? It has potential to, yes. But let's not worry about the endless winter now. We have something, we're staring down the barrel of a gun, she says in a more d d appropriate metaphor. I don't know what that is. Looking down the shaft of an arrow? Yeah, we're looking down the shaft of an arrow. Well, that makes more sense. Yeah, so um, it's, let's worry about that. It's basically her attitude. I swear, if we make it through this, I will tell you. Hold your word to that. She nods and she says, I I fear that the towns may need you more, though. Even after this, hero's work is never done. Tired? I may retire after this. <laughs> I got 63 gold. <laughs> I go find a cottage somewhere. You'll be a farmer. All right. You. That might be your prerogative, but that's not mine. Is there anything else that you guys want to do? Because um, let's try to make it snappy. I wanted to give you a little bit of teaser for season two. Um, but yeah, do you guys do you guys have anything else that you want to talk about, or you just sort of? buckle down for the the battle ahead some point i think yeah. uh in between like her going to bed uh sapphire is just gonna kind of like look out the window at one point and say of all the times you choose to bring your influence it has to be now you don't want control you want complete and under domination and i'll make sure to stop you Fucking sick. Take inspiration. And while you are sort of reminiscing, looking out the window, you feel like a little bit of pain in your hand. And uh, Sapphire, you look at your hand and you realize that you have a, a scar on your hand from when you squeezed the brooch that Nolan Greaves left you. You have this sort of scar on your hand for where it stabbed you in your hand. And you sort of look at it and it just reminds you of him for a moment. This will be for you. I will be the Herald of the Ten Towns. Who are you? Not the Herald of the Ten Towns, the Fender of the Ten Towns. There you go. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right on. All right. Everybody get some sleep. Can I do one more thing? Yes. Before we go to sleep. Yep. Can I go over to Valin when I, when everyone's also starting to bed down and yeah. I can have just like a moment that I can like yeah, yeah. go up to him and be like, ah, oh, look, there's no guarantee any of us are gonna live tomorrow. But a little more arsenal in my hands would maybe help us a little bit. Let me take a quick peek at your spell book. Maybe copy a spell down and I might be able to help you make a persuasion check mm, can i make it, it with advantage if i wave a map in front of her <laughs> oh so you uh so you're gonna mark on the map where that because you guys don't have the map right but you, i have the you, map that i recreated from memory oh you did recreate it, over, it. okay okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i'm gonna I'll take that and, all right so it's like a fucking bride yeah like you give me a look know, at that spell book like you and know I might give how you protective wizards are of their spell books i know and that's why i'm trying to coax it all over right. i'm gonna make it nice i'm gonna make it advantage dc 13 roll it up okay. Shaky little gnome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. whoa! Fifteen, right. I think. I can't. Uh, I can't see the bottom part of. Oh, okay. but you have disadvantage, right? Because you're exhausted. So it's just a fifteen, which is still okay. good. Which is still good. I was. Gonna I make can't a DC see the 15. very bottom of the rolling column in D20. Yeah, right if now you hover reason. over the chat box at just the right moment, like some arrows will pop up to make it smaller. 
I got click and drag. Uh, all right. Um, what's the highest level spell you can cast? Um, it would be uh third level, but I only have uh one last piece of parchment to cast oh. spell. So it would have to basically be a first level spell. Um. Okay. I mean, she doesn't have like super great or, stuff. Or or divination spell. You can you you can or do divination, divination spells spell. at. At cheaper oh, cost. Okay. Yeah, second, um, it'd be a second level divination. Her first level, level spells level. are comprehend language, detect magic, ray of sickness, Tasha's hideous laughter, fine familiar, protection from evil and good, shield, tensor's floating disc, false life, and magic missile. You have a lot of those. I do, but I don't have protection from evil and good, which I'm thinking might be good against an evil fucking dragon. I don't know if that will really help against a dragon. Mm. Well, it's more like protection from extra planar. Yeah, yeah, that's basically what it is. Or I can so take that magic still missile. Still good spell. You don't have magic missile? I don't have magic missile. I never. She has it. a wand of magic missile, so you can totally copy her magic missiles if you want. I'll... All right. Uh, I'll, be, I'll like kind of slip the map over to her and be like, make a copy. This one's mine. Yeah, all right, all and right. I'll copy this spell, and I'll, I'll go ahead and do that if she Start will let copy me copy a magic missile Fuck out. yeah, she will. So she opens up her book, which is is like if the Necronomicon was made by like an incredibly rich billionaire, right? So it's like <laughs> really fucking nice, but it also has like some sort of flesh on the cover and like an eyeball because um, she is a necromancer. So she you, she flips open to the page and yeah, you can copy down magic missile if you want. It only takes an hour. And um, do you have to roll for this, right? Uh, I do. Fun fact. Uh, let's and it's just the spell check. Is just, yeah, intelligence check. Uh, da, da, da. DC is just gonna be eleven for this. Mm -hmm. Eleven. <laughs> Magic oh. missiles, fucking cursed. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun. That's a spell use a lot too. Yeah, that's why that's I wanted it. All right. I only have an hour, so like I'm hastily copying it down. And yeah, that's I why. Definitely have a couple of typos in there. Yep. All right. So um, that's that. Um, okay. Anything else you guys want to say? Fucking word up. Throughout the night. Throughout the night. You guys rest. Um. Uh, v, I'm going to say because you're so fucking stressed out about this situation, you don't have to roll your die for today. You're way too okay. focused on something else, Kaffin. Okay. Um, I was prepared, but thank you. Yeah. I want you in tip top shape just in case. <laughs> um, so throughout the night, the storm rolls in. And at first it was just really hard wind and clouds but then the snow started to fall and uh this blizzard is fucking intense it is a very intense blizzard that hits the city um out basically outside of town let me find my blizzard rules oh, i could just type it in here probably Uh, appendix. Oh. 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 Where the hell? I'll find the rules for it in a second. Um, wilderness survival. Blizzards. Howling wind limits hearing to a range of 100 feet. Imposes disadvantage on range weapon attacks. Disadvantage on perception checks that rely on hearing. It distinguishes, extinguishes open flames, disperses frogs, and erases tracks in the snow, and makes flying by non-magical means nearly impossible. Visibility in Blizzard is reduced to 30 feet. Oh, fuck me. Fuck. Creatures without goggles or eye protection have disadvantage on perception checks. Any creature... Concentrating on a spell in a blizzard must succeed on a con save at the end of each turn or lose concentration. Now, I will tell you, 
That is outside of town. That's at the rules for outside of town. However, inside of a town, some of the buildings sort of keep, it's a little better inside town. It's a little bit less brutal than it is outside of town. Thing, uh, oh, what might, extent? Be, might be tough to get to Targos gang. Yeah, you guys wake up in the morning, long rested. So put your long rest in there. Do not feel rested. Yeah. Those are interesting portents, I think. The one, the top one's good, but I don't know about that. That one's like middling. You're muted. I really wish I would have kept yesterday's portent. That was <laughs> All right, you guys are awake. And you know that in about three hours, right? Eight, nine, ten, two hours, the dragon will be here. What do you want to do? We gotta go. We gotta go. Uh, before we head out, um, as I'm casting uh, the usual uh, gift of alacrity on Big Smile, mm -hmm. uh, I'll call over Sapphira and Illican as well, uh, and I'm gonna burn uh, some spell slots to. Oh wait, that's a second level spell. Shit! But it's divination. Okay, I'm going to. I'm gonna cast it on Sapphira for now. Okay. As well. Oh, gift of so, alacrity? So, yeah, so you'll get a D8 to your initiative rolls. Thank you. Pretty good, pretty good. I mean, All right. You got it from Fey Touch, right? So it's got to be a first level spell. Uh, no, because Misty Step and... Did I fuck that up? I totally fucked that up. So it's a second level spell? And... No, it's a first level spell. Oh, it's a first level spell. You've just been casting it with a second level slot? You you can No, do I was looking at Augury. Shit, I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, no, so I will. No, it says. Hang on, sorry. Yeah, I'm looking at. I mean, either way, we've ran game. the game so long with you having it, so you have Yeah, it. no, that's fine. It is it is a first level. I just put it under my second level spell slots because it's not in the uh, compendium, a compendium. And I put it in the wrong spot. So okay, that's, that's fine, fine. Mm -hmm. but I'll still I'll put it under um, Sapphira. For now, Sapphira and, will have and it. Big Smile too, right? Both of them. Uh, have and it. then Big Smile gets it for free, but for I have free. to actually. Burn ah, a I spot. see. I got you. I follow. I thought for a minute that I had something that had gave me like bonus to initiative, but that's next level. All right, so uh, Valin will also uh, take uh, when she's getting like ready in the morning. She'll take. Uh, like her level leather belt and tug it tight and you guys see this sort of sickly green energy that washes over her as she casts um, a drummer on herself I will also do that okay alright what's the deal guys head to southwest gate got one hour and 53 minutes left <laughs> nope we were already walking when we were doing this <laughs> <laughs> I want those seven minutes back to you uh, did you lock your door and or clean up the mess big smile yeah, it's no. gonna burn down tomorrow anyway <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not cleaning that mess unless we survive and the house survives all right so and in that case i'll be happy enough to be like ah fuck i'll clean up this mess no all right yeah that's so, easy work compared to killing the dragon the yeah. <laughs> leaves behind three of her kobolds um in your house she only takes two with her. Um, the one that carries the sword all the time. Um, the one that's like, I'm the badass bodyguard, right? And uh, uh, this is the quick one, the steely one. Toggle. Nope. Doby. Doby. So he takes Do she takes Doby and Gulp with her and they're just walking through the streets at this point like she doesn't give a fuck anymore um it's fucking go time um as you guys walk through the city what first of all what gate are you going to i think southwest is um the yeah. southwest leads yeah, south. you uh here hold up let me show you oh yeah that's like a whole separate road south the southwest leads you down the 10 trail so actually you would need to go out the north gate to get to oh, i think so yeah interesting Um, right. So I'm going to drag you guys back. So as you guys are heading through town, you can see that there's no one in, in the streets. And the wind is fucking 
blasting you guys. Um, it is right. There's fucking snow. You guys have to like put up your hands to walk through the streets. Um, because this is the windy city, basically. Like it was always windy here. Now it's incredibly windy. However, so the buildings and stuff sort of cut it down a little bit. So your visibility isn't as impaired. Um, like you'd still see pretty far in front of you, as opposed to when you leave the city, you won't be able to see shit because there's nothing but open tundra. Um, do you guys get, you pass everything, you know, you barely see anybody. If you do see anybody, they're hooded and running through the streets trying to go somewhere. Should um, I cast aid? Sure. I think I should. How long does it last? Eight, Eight hours. hours. Oh yeah, you can cast it if you want to. Might as well. Is it concentration? Yeah. Cool. I'll do it for a P, the bar, and big smile. Don't encourage him. Cheers, Farah. Oh, big what smile. You get temporary hit points from your thing. Yeah, I already you, have temp hit points. You can't. They don't stack. This isn't temp oh, HP. This isn't temp HP. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it increases Should his we, maximum. I think it's Fucking maximum. right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I just read it okay. just now. Wait. So what happens? Yeah. What does this look like, Sapphira? Hmm. So, um, Sapphira, after kind of walking along, she kind of like uh, clutches her. She clutches the symbol that she has kind of on her almost clutching it to the point where like, again, it's kind of digging into her palms, mm. but like you all feel, I guess, like some of the sentiment that's kind of coming off of her skin almost. Mm. And it kind of like, it kind of like swirls around and like, it begins to kind of like solidify and fortify around each of you. Cool. So you get like stone skin sort of. Kind of. Yeah. Cool. A slight stone skin. Yeah. That's pretty sick. All right. Um, so you guys make your way towards the North gate. As you get to the north gate, let me find my notes here. Um, I feel like I have notes around here on this. Blizzard hits two hours. Um, oh, remember how I said that the city was like fucking <clears throat> abandoned? The gate is not. As you can see that there's about 10 militiamen and they are trying to close the gates, right? As more refugees are trying to come in. Like there's a group of like 50 refugees that are trying to come in and they're like, there's a guy. So Arlagath's gone. You don't see Arlagath, but you do see this, this white haired, bald hair, bald headed dude with a white beard. Right. And he's wearing like, he's wearing retired, uh, flaming fit. He's wearing flaming fist armor, but he has it like the patches taken off of it. And he's screaming like, get those gates closed now. And there's like people on the outside, like trying to get in. What do you guys want to do? Beats aren't going to do too much good, and the dragon who's just going to fly over him? Why even bother closing them? Do you say that out loud? I'll, I'll say it loud enough to like I'm yeah. talking to the group, but like they can hear me. Yeah. He says, Speaker Shane's ordered the gates closed. You got a problem with it? I ain't saying nothing. Get to safety. Um, we have important matters on our hands. You're leaving. Yeah, we're we kind of the ones this is riding on. Speaker Shane's orders. <laughs> he rolls his eyes at you. He says, <laughs> he says, after these refugees get in, we're closing the gates. Barricading them. If you want back in, you're fucked. I think we'll be staying on the inside anyways. Some more refugees try to funnel through. What are you guys doing? 
This is going to be a problem later if we need to get back into town. It's going to be a problem if we need to get back into town. I mean, we, 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 didn't we tell the speaker our plan? She should be expecting our return. Yeah. I, I, I just There's a difference that, between helping you guys and helping every citizen in 10 towns. I'm assuming that if we come back, then the wall's probably going to be destroyed anyways. Fair enough. Or do we want to try and go outside the walls and wait for it? We're, we're not going to be able to see much outside these city gates anyways. It's risky. If we stay within the city walls and wait for it to come to us, then we'll have to deal with the Shardland madness of... Yeah. Prince Shander and Valen will say if we miss our Valen will say to hell's with the gate we can make our way through How? we should we should try to meet it out yeah I was gonna say do we still want to try to make for Targos I would like to try and meet it in Targos I don't yeah. want these people to have to deal with it here meeting in Targos might be pretty hard but you could meet it in the field in the field yeah you can try you can try if we can find it. Elokin and I can only get us so far. We can try and get outside the gates here, but... Yeah, with the slower pace that you would have to travel to, the dragon will be here by the time that you guys get to Targos. Oh, it's slowed. Alright, well, let's get out of this gate and see where we can hold up. All right, so you guys push through the group of refugees and the sort of captain dude that's ex-flaming fist and kind of a douchebag. He says, just let the fuckers in, you know, and they and they the, this last group of, you know, 30 or 40 people slide in. And uh, as you guys make your way out, it's fucking <laughs> blizzarding like fucking crazy. And you can see behind you the gates. <laughs> close behind you and you can hear of them taking huge logs and bracing them up against the doors let us move do not let the storm deter you combat comrades okay how far away do you want to get away from the city As far as, as far as we can feet. until, until well, we see signs of the dragon. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. 500. <laughs> okay. Um, getting 500 feet is like, it's going to take you like 20 minutes. Um, so you guys 300 start. 300 feet. Because it can, like, it can fly fast. And so like, oh, I, yeah. just, I wanted to see if we could get maybe two shots at downing this thing. Okay. I was thinking at least a thousand feet away. Do we have sleds? Not at this moment. They're uh, they're out like parked on the other side on the uh, near outside the east gate. If you wanted to have gone and got them, we could. Yeah, I think it might be worth having them nearby. Okay. So Hold guys... that gate. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can just they're outside. The city. So. Yes, yeah, they we are. Can walk around. You walk okay. around. It takes you a couple minutes to go and locate the sleds with the undead dogs and the two zombie. So I guess the zombies are coming now too. Um, the two zombie Great. kobolds. And uh, you guys load up on the three sleds and sha sha through the fucking storm trying to make your way around. Now, here's the fucking thing. You guys want to get as far away as you possibly can before you see the signs of the dragon. It, um... Either Big Smile or Illican, I need one of you two to roll a survival check with advantage so that the group doesn't get separated. I will give Illican guidance. Okay, Illican, you're going to make the check. All right. Mm -hmm. All Plus right, a D4. Uh, D4. All right, that's enough. So awesome you guys, job. you guys manage to stay together as you're traveling on your sleds, moving towards Targos, right? You're getting about as far away as you can. What are you guys doing when you're when you're when you're doing this? Like how 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 are you trying to t handle this? Is it, are you guys looking up, trying to see if you see anything? Yeah, for sure. Listen out. Pretty much. Yeah. We're Listen. Listening as much as we can. To the All right. Storm. So basically, everyone. That's a perception check with disadvantage, and that's on everyone. Uh, is this bullseye all. lantern going to help? Any? Um, you can try. Can I steal Sonar's goggles? 
Yes. So it makes it a flat I'm roll, right? Good guidance to it myself. does make it a flat roll with the goggles, yeah. Um, so we'll make a roll for Sonar and That's Vinay. not going to mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's about what I expected. Hey, this is not bad. And a natural 20 and a natural one. <laughs> Yeah, that's what, uh, yeah, that sucks. Hey, Sonar. Sonar. Thank you, Sonar. Fucking Sonar, save the day. Right All right. He dies, too. So hey, hey. <laughs> I love Sonar back in Big Smile's house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. He would never have left yeah. your side. He'll be like a puppy if you're like, no, stay, stay. He like follows after you. Turn around and he's just like five feet behind me. It's like, yeah. dude, what the fuck? I'm, there. I'm coming with you. All right, so. You um, stay, I go. <laughs> All right, so. Superman. I know we're making a lot of fun jokes here, but the fucking game is on, dude. Like, it's fucking go time. Right, let's go. So you guys are traveling about as fast as you can, right? When you're looking mm -hmm. up in the sky, you can't see shit. You're getting fucking pelted with snow, right? You're getting beat up by the snow. And you're about 700 feet away from the city, right? So you can, if you, if you squint really hard, you can still see the city, right? You can still see the town. And above head, Sonar grabs onto fucking Gabar. And he says, um, hold up, let's do it. And there, above. Uh, and as he draws your attention up to it, you squint your eyes and you can see way up in the sky, the slight glow of the underbelly of the, the Chartland dragon. <laughs> Flying above head. He sees it and it's above you guys. What do you guys want to do? They're looking so, at us, your shot. Uh, if Very this, well. Can I like prepare an action? Mm, not really. What do you want to okay. do? I was going to say if this thing, if this spell ends up working, I'm going to use Watcher's Will to give some. That, well, if it works, we're an initiative. Okay, okay. Um, you can't really prepare more than initiative, right? Gotcha, gotcha. However, Illican, you barely can barely make out that about 300 feet in the air oh. is, is the uh, is the Chartland Dragon. Do you have range for that? I do. That thing is high. Yes, it is. All right, so <laughs> give, give me one second. I, I want, want to see what this looks like. I want Reach to do something important. real quick. First of all, I got to make sure I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm like, I can't <laughs> find my notes. Um, all right, here's my notes, but I, I need something else. Oh, this one. Okay. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Okay. Oh, it just descends at 60 feet per round. Yeah, so it's going to take more than That's one round for him to get yeah. to the ground. All right, and then this one. take five full rounds. But we can oh, pelt it out of the air when it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, if it works. But okay. still, its flying speed is reduced to zero, so it just goes straight down. Mm -hmm. It doesn't like descend down. Right. Yeah. Um, it's it's basically I don't know if you watched the new season of uh, Fox yeah, Machina, that. but it's like a loop I haven't, that wraps I've seen three, around. It's a three loop episodes. that wraps around. Yeah, Laura does it. Yeah, it ra laps around the uh, dragon and drags him down basically it's like a lasso a magic lasso, whip yeah. yeah 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 um yours can look like whatever you want right but okay i have everything ready i am going to pull you guys over to a map just in case oh nice. fuck me oh that's a big boy that's that big is so good. good all right so oh god i'm gonna pull right. up this the stat block for the Chartland Dragon. And show it to us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Elican, what do you do? I know you said you cast a spell, but like, this is the moment. So let's fucking give it to me. Narrate so, it. 
So let's say Illikin's like he's got the reins or whatever, and he's with Big Smile. I oh, he's right at the edge of your range too. Holy shit, that's lucky. I didn't even look at this. So I picture the scene. I, I like give the reins to Big Smile, and then I stand upright basically to mm -hmm. just maybe get like you know an, a few inches more range. And yeah, so like a lasso, you see that um, Illikin starts doing like these swirling motions with his hands as this magical, I guess, like thread basically, right, appears out of thin air. This will make it, I don't know, like a golden thread or something, sure. like, like Wonder Woman's lasso. Yeah. And and he looks straight up at it, makes sure he gets a good visual <laughs> view, and he starts, you know, he starts like twirling, twirling the magical energy as it gets... Um, longer and longer. And then he yells out, May the skies, may the great skies reject you, imposter. And then he throws the lasso up. And it soars through the air, right? And we get the we get the shot, the camera shot of like the loop of it soaring through the air, right? And we follow it. And as it goes underneath of the Chartland Dragon, right? We could see the great white, like the dark, the cracks in its armor or whatever, like in between its armor. It's all lit up with red and shit. Like it's a like it's keeping its engines hot on the inside and the lasso goes up towards them and he needs to make what kind of save? Uh, strength. It's strength, yeah. Oh, he's really strong. Yeah. I wish um, I had yesterday's port and... Here we go. Strength saving throw, here it comes. Come on. Fuck! Fuck! Oh no. my god. Oh my god. What port do you have? will not be deterred. Plus Where's 11. Your... Fuck me. Silvery Barb doesn't have a 300 foot range, does it? No. no absolutely <laughs> not. Oh, oh shit. shit. So you send We're this. So you send this beam of energy. You can try again. Up into the air, right? And it whip cracks right underneath of the dragon's feet, right? And it, and we can see this in the camera, right? Cause you guys, it just disappears in this storm, right? You guys have no idea what's happening. All you see is this sort of illumination, this, go this golden glow up in the sky, right? Way up in the fucking sky. And what, what the camera sees is this whole dramatic thing where this, this loop is trying to grab onto it. It keeps coming back and the dragon flashes at it, flashes at it as it's trying to grab onto him and it flaps its wings down towards it, right? And this uh, burst of air dissipates the entire spell and it continues flying. What do you want to do? Do we know what's flying off? It's fucking gone. Yeah, your spell fails. Yeah, uh, six go You know. Whip yeah, shitty. Does it now. travel 300 feet in one round? Let's see. It can travel 180 feet in a round. Oh. Good try oh, again. Oh, shit. I think we fucked up. It's, fl it's flying past you. You still have, like, another round to get him before he gets there. Do you want to try again? Once more, look at Would this work? All right, oh, so you guys sha, sha, right. turn the undead dogs around and start chasing after it, right? Please. As it's flying in the sky, the wind fucking tearing at your face. You gonna try it again, Elican? I can try once more. And that's all you get. Oh boy. You, as the cart, now where you're on a driving car, right? At first you're like, let's stop and slow down. Now it's going forward. And, and who has the reins? Yeah. Who has the reins on his cart? Big I, smile. I so big smile, big smile, you, you're fucking mushing them, right? Like, go, 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 motherfuckers. Right. And Illican, you you stand up on the cart as the wind is fucking pelting you, right? And you hold on to the storm. You're like, I can fucking, I'm the fucking storm chaser, right? And you send the fucking thing out again. All right, you get one more. Oh, no. Here we go. I can't believe the dragon roll of natural 20 is the first roll I've ever made with the dragon. All right, That's you ready? Fair. All right, Bob, well, first in the future. Here we go. Oh, fingers crossed. Oh, oh yes! Fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Boom! Oh, no, no, that, that, that works. That's a that success. That works? That works. That's a success. success. My DC right. is a 16. No so. fucking shot. All right. Holy oh. shit. He will Second run, time he for charm. Roll a fucking three. All right, so he rolled a three and got a 14. So here's what happens. 
You no no lasso it out, right? So and literally you, a 20% chance. Like I said, you have the storm, right? You're like, I am the storm, right? And it you you channel and you find yourself at peace with the wind blasting at you and the fucking, you know, the snow burning your face. You find yourself at peace. And you imagine in your mind grabbing onto the dragon and ripping him to the ground, right? And you send the lasso out. And again, we get this shot of the fucking lasso coming out and it's like the last chance, right? And as it go, as the lasso comes up into the air, the dragon wasn't expecting it. And it grabs around its foot, right? And yanks it down just a tiny bit. And it makes roars out and tries to fight it away as when it sort of contorts its body, the lasso curls up some more and grabs it around its torso, right? So it like climbed up its leg and is wrapped around its torso and yanks it down and it immediately drops like fucking a couple, a couple feet and it will, uh, it will fucking... scream out in fucking anger. I need everybody to roll initiative. That's our cue. Let's go. That's I cue. cannot believe that worked. Dude, Pleasure. that was Oh, amazing. and he rolled terribly. Oh, I, got, I got a 1d8. Wait, was it a 1d8, Kabar? 1d8, yep. Yeah. Add, you roll that real quick so I can add it on there. Guys, my initiative was Ooh, up, my so God. Uh, I, don't, I don't have to roll for, you know, a constitu like constitution save, right? so bad. Oh, yeah, you will have to. Yeah, yeah. but my initiative's low, so we have a little, we have a few turns. Bless, oh, get bless yeah. on that man. All right. Uh, Valen needs to oh, roll. facts. Yeah. Yeah, because you're gonna have to maintain concentration. And yes, yeah, and our. But it's it's on the start of the start of my turn. Yeah. Yep. If I forget to inspire yeah. him on my turn, remind me. Oh yeah, I, I'll, <laughs> I'll try to remind you. Yeah, yeah. All right. So and currently, bless. we need some bless on that guy. Currently, the dragon is at the edge of the range. We'll say he's at two hundred and eighty. It doesn't. Oh, really. One drag down. Or... No, he didn't get one drag down because it's the start of his turn. Yeah. True. So we'll, we'll, it, it's an inconsequential amount, however. He, so he's at 300 right now. Um, Actually, did I say I might have wrote down how far he descends before the first turn? We're really dragging him down. Uh, oh, yeah, he does descend the fir the original 60 feet. So he, as soon as the lasso grabbed onto his foot, he tried to fight it and it crawled around his torso and yanked him down 60 feet, right? So now he's at 240 feet. Um, and now we're in initiative. Um, so he's at 240 feet in the air. No one can see him, basically. Like, like it's, it, I guess since the, I'll give you this. Since the lasso is illuminating around it, it's sort of like a makeshift fairy fire, right? So you can sort of see 240 feet up in the air, the dragon trying to fucking flap its wings and get out of this thing, but it can't, right? It's trapped. Big smile. What would you like to do? Fuck. Oh, put your guys' tokens like on this side of the map, but wherever you would want to be. Sorry, it doesn't bring it again. Uh, what's that? What? Where are you on us? Uh, just n not any closer to the dragon than like Quintus is. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, just aura. Yeah, yeah, like. I'll be. I'll be. Yeah, I don't think grouping up is a good idea. I'll. Uh, I'll be back here. Hmm. Can anybody yeah. see that? See what? Yeah, you're. Well, I can. I. Oh, here. I can set it so that everyone can see it. I'm probably gonna use a better, more. No, like, I like the color. I like the color. Man. Here, I like the color. Well, you here. can't see now. Anything, now yeah. you can. Oh, no, I'll there. go back to my original uh, spot then. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, we all just were on the sled too, so I imagine. We'll hey, it doesn't on. matter. This is. That's not really that important. All right. So you guys. So the dragon, fucking, is 240 feet in the air. It's. Big Smile's turn. Big Smile, what would you like to do? Yeah, I, there's literally nothing I can do at this distance. I'll come in front of uh, Illican and, like, help tether him down since he's basically pulling this dragon down. My I'll, dog won't shut up, so give me one second. Sweet. Sure. I'll be, I'll be. Listen, you kill me. Uh, I'll just give you the help action, Illican, I imagine. Come on, come on. You succeeding you, on your 
shit is probably priority number one. I don't think I can repeat the spell. Okay, I'm back. Save at least. No, for concentration, but I don't know. Can you help action on concentration checks? Oh. No, it's a save. It's a, no, that's not how that works. Yeah, that's a save. Okay. Uh, and I mean, if that's the case, I might start to go into the field where I anticipate mm-hmm. he might fall. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, next up is Lynn. Lynn will. What is he, 240, I said? 240. Yeah. Out of fireball range. She might, yeah, she might not have anything. All right, she'll, uh, yeah, she's got nothing. She'll hold her, uh, she'll hold, hold her action to cast like a magic missile out of her wand, I guess. Uh, Cause it's too high. V, what would you like to do? Um, can't do anything right now. Can't do anything next round either. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna get out of the. Okay, sleigh. let's. Does I'm anybody have some, over a little bit? Does anybody have something that can, something that can hit this thing this far away? No. Not yet, but on my first turn, I do want to cast a spell. Okay, we're just gonna let it slide then. We'll just keep going at initiative. Um, All right. At some point, I would like to do watch as well, but not okay. Now. Okay. Well, it's V's turn. V, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. I just moved out of the way. All right. Are you holding an action? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Gabar, you're I'll, up. I'll dodge, I guess. Okay. Oh wait. This is concentration. No, because I don't want to be making these concentration checks yet. Never mind. Um. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, I forgot about the concentration rules with the blizzard. It's okay. So you're not doing anything right now? No, I'm waiting till I can see him, and then I'll start to cast. Okay. Um, once he hits ground, I'll say that you guys can see him, right? Um, <laughs> uh, so, Gabar, you're done. Quintus, you're up. Uh, I'm just going to inspire Elokin. Uh Whatever you do, keep holding on to that spell. Uh, Sapphire, can you help him with that? And then, Ugh. yeah, I'll take I'm the dodge action. With my dear life. Dodge action. All right, Sapphire, you're up. I am going to move a little bit closer, to, uh, just enough to make sure that Ilkin is still within my aura. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think that's about it. You got blast to help with the concentration. Sonar does. I, bl- I do have uh, blast. Nice. All right. Cool. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do have blast. Do you, can you double up on blast? I only I, casted a. You won't get two d four. I don't think. Oh, wait, who did Sonar cast? It doesn't it? stack, you don't think? Okay. You can't benefit from the same spell. Oh, there you go. All right, that's, that's fine. a D&D rule. If I know that yeah. then, I You're will right. not cast anything. Yeah, so, yeah, Sonar's got fucking got this shit. Um, if he's got one job, this is it. Um, so the Sapphire... Right, if you're going to do your Channel of Divinity thing? I'll probably do that when it gets closer to the ground. Bill mm-hmm. can. Because it only lasts a minute. Is it at the start of your turn you have to make the check? I should have uh, turned, I think. I, w- I was actually asking that. Yeah, hey, uh, hold up. Let's see. I just fucking had it pulled up. All right, must have seen a strength saving throw. Uh, no, this is for the blizzard. At the end. The end? At the en- yes, the end of your turn. You have to make a... It's a DC 10, so it's not that hard. Okay, you well... You could also turn into a monster. Well, that that was the plan. Yeah, with very high constitution. With very Got high constitution, then it would be a good idea. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Well, my plan was to turn into the, the fucking giant elk. Oh, that probably is good, Con. Huh? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, oh, yeah, don't you have your bag of tossing big elks out? <laughs> well, maybe. Like, yeah. It could, it could bag throw of out tossing a big rat. So, no, it's I not that fucking easy. That. I thought you were holding on to that. All right, real quick, let me compare. Right, I'll, be, I'll be holding on to it then. Yeah, because I'm holding okay. on to like the all con the other magic of stuff. a giant elk is a plus two. <clears throat> um, the con, let's see. Uh, can you check a polar bear? Yeah, it's a plus three. Plus Ooh. three. Which one's your better one? 
Oh, I didn't. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't have the the polar bear stats pulled up. I, I, it's yeah, it's no, no big deal. You should have it, was, it under yeah, under huge, huge polar bear. I'm pretty bear. sure you would have seen it at some point. Or we uh, got it for your um. Oh man, this so this thing. Lycanthropy thing, right? Yeah. Hold up. I, I, I it, it's not in the sheet. Hold up. Let me let me add this to his thing. So the reason I wanted to turn into the elk was because when the dragon lands. Uh, on a prone creature, I can do 48 plus 4 damage. It doesn't go prone, does it, when it lands? It's restrained. Mm. Mm, it's restrained, okay. No, but I got tricks. I put the wild, I put the polar bear in your wild shapes, so you have access all right, to it. Alright, yeah, let's do the bear. Alright. I thought I put it in your wild shapes. Alright, so you fully lycanthrope out into a polar bear. Um, which is here. And let me share this with you. Uh, the craziest thing about this blizzard, Warcaster doesn't help because Warcaster only gives you advantage when you make a check as a result of taking damage. Oh. Can I, okay. can I punch him? You should have access to the mm -hmm. uh, wa the polar bear sheet under your wild shape. All right, let's see here. Is it plus Thank three you. to your yep. roll? And that's your uh, that is your action to shape change, right? Yep, that is my action. Bonus. No, it's a bonus action if you circle. Oh, no. yes, yes. Oh, so you're oh, are you using wild, wild shaping into it? It's because it's a wild shape. Yes, yes. So exactly. you're using your wild shape and not your lycanthropy. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. Semantics, really. Yeah. It's, yeah, well, it's semantics, he gets the really. extra HP when he wild shapes. Okay. Oh, yes, that's yeah. I it's, guess it's that's true. It's different, uh, completely different. Or not yeah, yeah. completely different, but fairly different effects. Yeah. All okay. Right. Bonus action. Anything else? Anything else? I guess... No, I can't cast a spell now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Yeah, not a regular. You just make bear noises, really? Yeah, now, so now the, I guess like the lasso, it's like fastened around like the polar bear's chest or whatever. Hell yeah. That's pretty sick. Um, okay. All right. That's I, got your, nothing, I got nothing else right that's now. That's your I guess turn. I could, uh, I could move. Constitution saving throw DC 10 to keep concentration you, on this yeah, spell. Yeah, stay near Sapphira though. You get a plus three to this roll. Fuck yeah. All, All right, right. You get a plus three to this roll. Come on, Plus baby. the original three. So, so I just use the thing on my character sheet, right? And open then... up, open up the polar bear sheet, uh -huh. and hit the con button, and then we're just gonna automatically add three to we're that. We're just gonna add, yeah, okay. Yeah, in our heads. That's, yeah, that's easy. You, easy, you nice. did it. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, it's oh. ten, right? Yeah. yeah. So you maintain concentration of this lasso, sort of oh. pulling the dragon down. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there we go. That's your turn, Sonar. We'll move forward. And he will say, The light of Sehanin Mundo shall protect us. And he will slam his staff down into the snow and he'll cast Bless on Gabar, obviously. <laughs> and he will also cast Bless on the polar bear, obviously. Take care of yourself, Sonar. And no. He refuses. Uh, he'll cast the other yeah. one on. What's the range of it? 30 feet, you think? Damn. I have it here. He can move. No, he's not moving away from Gabar. <laughs> oh, I guess he can move 10 feet that way. It is 30 feet. There we go. All right, and give it a big smile. Big smile, you're the other guy that has the, the bless and he is concentrating so at the end of his turn he has to make that save thank you awesome. sonar he um, gets plus three okay good he gets plus three yep he makes it all right we're moving along boys it is now at the end of the turn or the end of the order it's the chartland dragon and at the beginning of his turn or the end of his turn he descends it says once per round so it's really unclear well, it doesn't matter, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Once per round. Well, Some it happened at the start of the round, so I guess it would happen at the start of the round again. At the start of a round, it descends 30 feet. So I guess just at the start of the dragon's turn would be the most fair. Because that's how most other spells work. Yeah, I'm going to say at the start of the dragon's turn, he descends another 60 feet. Um, so Is it two, 60 or 30? 60. 60. 60. 
So it's 240 minus 60. 180. He's at 180 feet. Um, and as he, you know, <laughs> descends down, um, he's fighting against it real bad. Let's see what he can do. Not quite in a fireball. He's 10 feet outside of a fireball. Yeah, he's too far away to use his breath weapon, too. Boy, you guys are lucky. Yeah. And his movement speed's zero, so he can't charge you. Because otherwise, he would just fly to the ground and fucking blast you guys. Yeah. Uh, but he can't. Um, That's right, right. Rich. Well, he will. I guess he'll hold his action. As you guys hear, you know, the wind up the inside of its chest as it's slowly being pulled down to the ground and it keeps trying to flap its wings to get out of it, but it can't. Um, Big Smile, you're up. It's Uh, 180 feet up. Yeah, still like, well, it's on my range for anything. Can I like anticipate based on its like trajectory it has zero speed so it's just coming straight down it yeah. looks like this is kind of the square it's going to come straight down on then yeah basically where he's sitting right now is where he's going to come down okay so i'm just going to hoof at another 30 feet here okay oh, uh shit. use uh, is this too dumb? i can't see you we have no idea you're just running into the blizzard i'm going <laughs> to go flank it <laughs> 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 to the core. Happy, core heard a big smile. Flank, flanking to the core. All right, cool, cool, cool. Me, I'll use my Fresh. dodge action though. All right. Do I've you have inspi- a warrior you, uh, Never do you have, big smile. Do you have inspiration, big smile? No. For your act of bravery, I will give you <laughs> an inspiration. Because this is really ballsy and definitely what your character would do. Just run straight into the blizzard, disappearing from view from everybody, and you're looking up like, where's this thing going to land? Where's it going to land? <laughs> um, all right, that is fucking terrifying. Are you still going to use the dodge action? Uh, Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, there's nothing I have with that amount of range, so all right. I will try and not get hit. All right, Do you see this lens. dude's token, Chris? Like, are you looking at the same thing we're looking at right now? <laughs> hey, that There's... token can be flanked, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> There's more room to flank it. There's more squares you can flank from. Uh, All right. Someone right here. Belen lost her spell that she was holding, I guess. Um, but she will move up into the aura, I guess. There she we'll... could just keep holding it, right? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess so, huh? Oh, it's the wand of magic missile, so it doesn't matter anyways. All right. That's the end of her turn. She's basically going to blast it when it lands. Uh, v, you're up. Already. Um, so it, if... I'll just post it. Would this have any effect on... on if I cast this around myself on the effects of the blizzard on my on me. If I like try to hold the, the uh what you call it? Snow and sleep. You're just you're you're burning my- you're gonna use this cantrip and burn this action to keep yourself from having to make the constitution checks in this space because I, I can't really move it yeah it's a five foot cube okay so what you're saying is you're gonna like hold you know fucking mind power try to keep the snow off of you and keep it out of this square as you like surround yourself with psychic energy and you're gonna stay in this square so you don't have to make the constitution saving throws he is what i'm asking that's what you're buying from me right the yes okay you uh, sold um i'll That's allow sweet. it um i'll allow it you you're not holding an action to blast this thing it's better for me um so yeah i'll allow it no problem sounds fucking badass to me i mean it's instantaneous right. and it lasts well, an hour so you're not concentrating snow around me yeah the snow slows around me and it just freezes in place and it's hovering as uh I'm oh the snowflakes just... fall into it and then just hover around you yeah that's fucking awesome yeah. well there's right. yeah they're like still moving but it's like outside as soon as they get inside they're like yeah, they slow, slow. Yeah, it's fucking really awesome. All right, cool. Uh, done. Uh, that's your turn. Yep. Gabar. 
Uh, All right. Uh, so it's 180 Permanent feet up here. right now. Correct. So at the start of its next turn, it's going to be within 120 feet. Correct. All right. I'm casting my spell now. As I start rummaging through my books, uh, I'll eventually have books, papers in the satchel. I eventually mm -hmm. find the one, uh, and I begin to <coughs> recite an incantation as I take little pinches of bullshit, and I start throwing them around me. And as the, like, the snow is swirling around me, you'd start mm -hmm. to notice a couple of them start, like, start to be a little darker and form balls until eventually they're the size of like a basketball. And I got okay. six of them floating around me as I cast melts minute meteors <laughs> sick so you have these like snowballs floating around you so there's like six basketball size like but like if you made like a snowball from like really shitty like muddy snow oh yeah i yeah, gotcha gotcha sounds uh, good and i'm holding on to that as i concentrate on it okay very cool uh that is your turn next in the order yeah i'm actually gonna i'm gonna leave frog sonara though to get in front of him because i don't want him to take the brunt of whatever yeah okay yeah um and i do right. need to make a con save for this yeah but... and but you're in the aura and you're blessed yeah I'm fine. no problem all right quintus you're up all right i'm going to uh oh first i'll uh like all the snow and the blizzard will start collecting on Quintus rapidly until he's completely enveloped in it, and then it'll burst out, and there'll okay. be four of him. Oh, sick. Um, okay. Got and it. then I'm going to move up a little bit, and Big Smile, can you hear me? Um, the... Oh auditory thing is 100 feet right yeah okay okay yeah you can hear him yeah so as long as he can hear me he can get the benefits of bardic inspiration okay um don't die in there and yeah that's my turn action bonus action Sapphira. uh Sapphira is going to move over here uh over okay. Uh, oh. is Sonar still within it? No, I don't think no. he is. All right, there he is. Uh, and then that's going to be... He, uh, he's still like 50 feet away from me. So I think... Oh, shit. Do I want to do that now or should I do that later? My watchers will. It's not going to get Big Smile, but I can get a few other people. I can only get three people with this. Make up your mind. What are you going to do? Uh... I'll do it. Um, I'm going to use it on Illican, Gabar, and Quintus. Done. Be yourself, you're going to be up close to it. Actually, I'll do Illican, Quintus, and me. Okay. Yeah. I already have that pretty much because I'm a gnome. Okay. Gotcha. All right, that's your turn. Yep. And it's going to be a blue dot because I am blue. Dabba dee, dabba die. All right, cool. Uh, Illican. The dragon's not down yet, right? He's eight, 180 feet in the air. All right, I'll move a little forward. Uh, yeah, like right there. Get mm -hmm. ready. Okay. Are you going to use an action of any sort? No. Uh, not much for me to do yet. So All right, well, maybe we'll action dodge. Like a hold a dodge? Yeah, just dodge as an action. Yeah, yeah. All right, Sonar's turn. I didn't look at his character sheet. Um, not much he can do. Um, what does Sanctuary do? Oh, is it concentration? Yeah, he doesn't have much he can do, guys. He's still just concentrating on Bless. So I guess he'll use the dodge action too. He doesn't have, there's nothing he can do. Um, can he and... moonbeam? Doesn't moonbeam go all the way up to the sky? It's only 40 feet. Oh. Oh, I, and I gotta do my roll. I guess I didn't realize there was a limit on it. I guess that makes sense. Oh, fuck. Uh, I gave you a D8. Or you, you also have plus three. Yeah, you also plus have plus three and three. bless. You're good. 
You're good. Oh, okay. Six, okay. seven, eight, nine plus the one from D4. You're good. That's literally the minimum you could roll. The minimum, yeah. Um, you do have a D8 as well, so. So I still uh, have the D8. If you yeah. roll a one, there is still a chance. All right. Well, right. Sonar's got to roll his Constitution saving throw for maintaining concentration on Bless. And he's got plus three. Okay. Oh. Oh, it was at disadvantage, but he got a twenty-two. Um. So that was a success. Okay. Um. All right. It's Charlin Dragon's turn. As soon as that happens, he descends, drops tw- uh, 60 feet to 120, right? He's 120 down. With that, Bolin t- she fires off her magic missiles. There we go. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Good start. <laughs> that one was charging oh, 14, up. 14, 14, right. 15. Yeah, she had it going. That's right, like takes, plus three as well, right? Yeah, it takes 15 damage as she blasts into it. But the nice. the the damage just plink, plink, plink off of this thing's armor, right? And as it descends mm, far enough, you guys can sort of see it, right? It's flapping its wings. It's scraping at the, the rope, trying to untangle it, and it keeps getting itself more tangled in it, right? You can also see the char- the chartle and dragon. Wait, we just uh, spent 30 seconds pissing it off. Oh yeah. And lining up in a row for a breath attack. <laughs> um you That's also good. see it find my notes here. I mean you don't have to stay with the Myora, it's just <laughs> really helpful for those con saves. I probably should have left. <laughs> The dragon looks a little different compared to the first time you saw it. Some of its plating on it has been dented, right? And there is a huge black ballista arrow that is sticking out of its shoulder that it has snapped off at the end. Um, It appears that it has taken some... uh, damage right and as it's still trying to break the restraints it stops continues to flap its wings and then looks over at the group of you and it's going to man the way you guys are lined up i know it's it's like i didn't think that was going to happen and then like everyone started moving in a line towards it and i'm like what i was banking on 120 feet being too long I figured, yeah, 120 feet, I feel like, is about, like, the range of most D&D spells and stuff. It's going to do nothing. It's not even quite sure where we are. He can't hit you with a line. He can't? Mm. Oh, I was expecting a cone. That makes a lot more sense from all the art. Yep. It's a, be- ra- it's a beam. All right, so in that case, so he can do two things with his breath weapon, right? He can shoot it in a straight line out in front of him. That's 120 feet long. Or he can fire it within the do it sideways. Oh, fuck. That's cool. In a 60 foot line. Um, So he's going to do it sideways in a 60 foot line. Hmm. Um, And he's just randomly shooting it. So it's going to look something like this. Um, Just because this is sort of the middle of the pack of everybody. So um, he's building up his breath weapon. As it fires, fires out of him, this laser beam, right? It fucking scorches the ground and Sapphira and this bear, they sort of dodge out of the way. However, unfortunately, Quintus and Gabar are caught right in the middle of it. And where's where's the dragon at right now? He's 120 feet away. He can can fire within 120 feet. He can fire within 120 feet. So whatever distance is longer between you guys, oops, whatever distance is longer, that means he can fire it, right? So he's less than yeah. 100 feet away from you. So you always go with, you don't triangulate that shit, right? No, I get it. I'm just, I, I, I saw you doing an arrow from here to here. I'm like, yeah, wait, what I the am. fuck is this? Yeah, yeah, he's carving a swath. Yeah, so the, the dragon can either shoot uh, a I straight gotcha. line in front I see. of him. Or like kind of, now I see. Or a straight, like a sideways attack. 
Um, but it's not as long. It's 60 foot line instead of 120 foot line. You're within my aura, so you all get plus three. Yeah, so I need you guys to roll, uh, let's see what kind of save it is. Dexterity saving throw. Both mm. Quintus and Gabar. Uh, I'm just gonna roll a 20 with that 14. Nice. Okay, <laughs> you, so you both succeed. And you take... How much damage is this? Too much. 10d6, I'm going to call it. Um, so I ro- okay. I, yeah, I rolled pretty low. So you, it half a 34. They're pretty 17. low. That's... It's pretty low. I got three ones in there. They could, those could have been eight. Yeah, two eights two eight and two sixes. Mm. It's average. Average. That still fucking hurts. It's the below, shit out it's of below average. A, ADA is the average is 40. Hmm. Plus um, 380 concentration checks as well. Yep. So you guys get blasted by this thing, but luckily dodge enough out of the way uh, for it to not affect you too bad. And uh, it's radiant damage, by the way. And uh, yeah, I do. I need it. Does is anybody concentrating on anything? One of you guys? Yeah, no? I am. Oh, um, oh yeah, your snowballs. Damn. Yeah. So yeah, it's DC ten. I DC ten. Mm-hmm. Don't fuck me. Okay. Yeah, you're good. All right. Uh, that is the end of the Charlin Dragon's turn. Um. Right, it doesn't have no yeah all right that's the end of its turn uh mm-hmm. next and it's 120 feet in the air next in the order big smile kind of bouncing around in place just warming up the the guns here mm-hmm. and i again will <laughs> dodge bring them to me all right. <laughs> yeah. all right uh valin it's her turn again that, that magic missile seemed to work out pretty good All her other spells would like really fuck you guys. And it's too far away for anything else, really. All right, so she'll just do uh, magic missiles again. Just because it's, it's it's 120 feet and she doesn't have... Uh, some some of her spells would like hurt you guys if she did them. Um, so it's 3d4 plus 3. Uh, so 5, 6, 7, 8 damage. All right, she's the only one that's hurt it so far. Go uh, as it gets blasted... Um, seems unfazed by it. Plink, plink, plink. This is what happens to it. V, you're up. Alrighty. So, let's do... Um... One... Who hits harder? I'd say... How hard does this polar bear hit? Pretty hard? Pretty hard, yeah. He gets two attacks. Well, he's about to have three. Oh, oh shit. Tasty boy. And Sapphira has three. As. You're gonna twin it? I Damn. cast Hate. And twin it on. The polar bear and Sapphira. <laughs> Beautiful. All nice. right. And yep, it's really doesn't look like anything, but for the two of you, your eyes kind of have a purple sheen over it as you can kind of everything slows down for you as you begin to see the fabric of reality come forth uh, in your vision and (laughs) things are just uh uh uh, you're a lot faster and uh can do a lot is that uh concentration is that concentration yeah okay you have to make a save at the end of your turn all right so you get all this well i was hoping that the thing that i did last turn didn't affect that oh yeah that's right you're right it doesn't Unless I move. Uh, nope. Yeah, you're good. All right. That's your turn. That's my turn. All right. So y'all get a plus two to AC and advantage on deck saves and an additional action. Done? Damn. Polar bear's voided up now. Goodbye. 
All right. Nice. Uh, to start my turn, uh, I'm going to kind of take like my hand, and as this snow swirls around me, I take two of these gigantic snowballs and just chuck it at him. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And he needs to make a DC 16 Dexterity saving throw, uh, or suffer. Oh, that's fucking whack. Five. Even if he fails. Okay, he fails. Uh, so he takes five fire damage. You can uh, kill two of them at a time, too. Yeah, I'm throwing two of them, so... Is it two saves? Wherever the meteor explodes. So, yeah, this is another save, and then this one will be 11 points of damage if he fails. Um, And he's not immune to fire, right? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> Oh, he's not. All right, so another deck save for another... for 11. Yep. Uh, fail that's a fail. Go. Okay. And that was my bonus action. Oh, nice. And as my action... Uh, I kind of rip out little pieces of paper out of this, if anyone that was watching me scribble last night, as I launch a magic missile at him. Yay! Magic missile. Oh, not Witch Bolt magic missile. Again. Uh, and again. Nice, nice! There we go! 15 more, more points of damage! Ouch, ouch. Dang, them magic ouch. missiles are hurting. <laughs> So I just, yeah, I just, like, throw two giant snowballs and then just, like, rip off some paper out of my hand and then throw it, and as they all kind of, like, turn into, like, little paper airplanes before they zoom off into the nice. blizzard, impacting into him. Fuck yeah! That's pretty sick, man. I love your little paper airplanes thing. That's really cool. All right, so, yeah, they they blast into him, and then you throw the snowball, and it explodes in fire for some reason, and um, this fire gets all over it, and it just flapping its wings like it's... Uh, barely affected. Like, this is nothing for it. Oh, fuck. I hope that did more. And I'm going to run away 5, 10, 15, 20. I don't care if I'm not in the aura anymore. I don't want to be a part of the group. Okay, <laughs> that's your turn. Uh, yeah, so I will end with... I got to do the con save. Uh, DC 10, right? Uh, yeah. I'm also blessed, so I probably wouldn't be able to figure that out. Anyways, but yeah. What did you get? Oh, yeah, you got it. 10. I'm yeah, yeah, you got it, you got it. Um, sorry, I was looking up something. Quint, is it your turn? All right, looks like this is it, Sapphira. Um, don't go attacking oh, our wait. friends now. And I'll give you a D8 inspiration. Um, and then... Yeah, I mean, I feel left out at this point, so uh, Quintus is going to take, uh, he's been practicing with these little throwing knives earlier in the campaign, but okay. now now they just form in his hand and three uh, shards of ice go springing out and hit oh! the <laughs> Nice. Nine, oh, 10, but 11. it's not max damage, though. Oh, whatever. This is still good. We're just barraging <laughs> it with magic missile darts. <laughs> nice. Fuck yeah. All right. Let's, let's fucking let's get it. That's the right. way to go against the dang Wh Charlotte. Whittle Knight. them down, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Guaranteed so damage. Blam, 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 blam. Right. No problem. Um, that is your yeah, turn. I'll also not be in a line. Here I was here. That's so totally this cool. earth vine just lasts until he drops concentration, right? Like it can never move, even when it hits the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. When oh, it hits no, the no, ground, it has a it movement speed. It has no speed. fly speed, though. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that doesn't matter. All right, so that's the end of Quintus's turn. Uh, next up, Sapphira. Sapphira is going to look back over to the others, and she will say. I, the time has come. Let us defeat this. Let us defeat this menace to society once and for all. To which them, to which to all of them, it sounds like. Oh, let's go kill this fucking dragon! Right? <laughs> yeah. All right. And she is going to, I guess, uh, go kind of right over here, mm -hmm. so that Illokin is still within the aura. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm within twenty feet. About. Uh, well, what is the technically you're within hundred and twenty feet, right? Because it's still one hundred and twenty feet in the air. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
20 feet on the ground, but 120 feet in the air, which yep. I don't know if I'm going to do trigonometry for this shit. No, no, it's, uh, no, it's whatever just 120 feet away. Yeah, okay. whichever number's bigger. Okay. Um, what is the double crossbow, by the way? I forgot about that. Oh, it's a short. It's a shorter range. Okay, I will just throw. A, I'll just throw a javelin then. It's a disadvantage. Uh, it, it would be a disadvantage, and it doesn't have a long range, right? Oh, let me see. Let me see. I think it's. I think the long range is one twenty. It is I'm thirty to one hundred twenty. Yeah. Thirty slash. So you'd have disadvantage. Disadvantage. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's see, let's see. I have my rules in here somewhere. Just cast magic missile. We don't have magic missile. We should all <laughs> just take magic missile. <laughs> when does when does monks get access to magic missile? <laughs> if only there was a power. Uh, yeah, you just have disadvantage on the attack. That's all. Okay, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> if I can attack twice, then I'll do it. I'll throw two of them. All right, you throw two javelins. Miss, miss. Yeah. <laughs> they, they hit it, but then plunk off of his armor. Wait, I get an extra attack as a uh, pal, as a with haste, right? Mm hmm. Or an extra action, whatever you want to do. How many javelins do you have? Uh, five, technically, because I have a shitty javelin. Okay. And also the shitty sh sh javelin with this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. It misses and breaks. <laughs> <laughs> She'll say, Good play, oh, it's, an, it. it's another attack action, right? So you get two more attacks, right? No, no, no just one. It's uh, just one. No. Okay. So you just throw, say. you shoo, chuck, shoo, chuck, shoo, chuck, and all three hit, but they just blink, 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 blink off the armor of this chartland dragon. Oh, fuck it, darn it. That's my turn. All right, Elikam? I think it'll be similar to last turn. I'll move, like, uh, let's see. Yeah, like there. Mm -hmm. And I guess I'll, I'll uh, have a dodge ready. Okay. And all right, time to, time to roll the check. You succeed. Well done. Yes. All right, Sonar's nice. turn. He will follow Erdare. Erdare. And he will make a concentration check. Oh boy. Ooh. He succeeds. Nice. All right, he maintains concentration on Bless. It's now the Charlin Dragon's turn. First thing I gotta do, uh. roll, roll a d6. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. oh, Lame. Yeah. All right. Ooh. So it's fucking pissed, right? And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the Charlin Dragon just so happened to be a little bit intelligent. And it's been this whole time it's like been enraged and in fury and blasting and scraping at this. And then you can see as its wings are flapping and it drops another 60 feet, right? So now it's at 60 feet total. Um, if it drops another 60 feet, it it you could see it's it's like eyes sort of look at the string and follow it, the lasso, and follow it over towards Illican. And then Illican, you can see its chest start to light up. Kaboom. God, that sound effect is so good. All right, so he fucking blasts you. He blasts you just straight across. You're the only one that gets hit. Um, you need to make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, plus three. Is this a spell? No. And no, advantage. No, definitely not a spell. Just checking. Wait, do why, does he, why does he get advantage? Wait, is it from the uh, um, haste? Doesn't haste, haste. Get advantage? Yeah, yeah, the haste. Yes. All right, say. so you advantage on a dexterity saving throw. With a plus three. With a so plus I, three. I just rolled the dex, just like the con save, right? Yeah. On your bear's yep. sheet. Yep. On the bear sheet, I give myself yep. advantage. Hell yeah. Wow. Actual 20. Nice, wow. Nice, All nice, right. Nice, well, nice, well nice. it doesn't stop you because you can still fail this one. Um, you do take. <sighs> half of 34. So 17. 17. You need to make uh, a DC. He's going to roll a 17 on his. Uh, 
On his concentration. concentration. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right, yeah. you succeed. Um, however, he still needs to make another con check, right? At the end but of this the turn. But this was just 10, at the, right? at the end of my turn. At the end of the turn, yeah, and it's a DC yeah. 10. Yeah, but it's the Charlotte yeah. Dragon's turn. And he got plus oh, three. that's right, it's the Charlotte Dragon's turn. All right, and it dropped 60 feet. It used its breath weapon. And I'm looking a bit worse for wear. Worse for bear. <laughs> oh my god, guys. It has fucking magic resistance. I don't think I used that in the beginning. No, I can tell you how much damage I've done to take half of it off. No, 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 no. I'm no, talking no, about no, the same spell. against oh. the Earthbind. Oh. Whoops. All right, here we go. Too late. Um, too late now. All right, so <laughs> you succeeded. The Charlotte Dragon ends its turn. Big smile, you're up. Come down and fight me. I'll scream to the heavens as I once more use the dog action. Okay. And say, come flank with me, you cowards. All right. Now it's <laughs> now it's closer. No. So Valin will move a little bit forward. Oh boy. And now she has more range to do stuff. Um her and her cold bold children. <laughs> Alright. She doesn't have a lot of these, but she's gonna use it. Uh what's the range on this? Oh it's not close enough. Fuck. Boy, it's tough running a fucking magic wheel that <laughs> can do some serious shit. Um they'll just fucking magic missile again. It's too far away for her to do anything. All her good spells are thirty feet. Uh so she'll just magic broke. missile. Yeah, that's true. It's a guaranteed damage. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven on the dragon. All right. All right. It plink, plink, plink blasts into him. Uh, and that is Valen's turn. Next up, V. All righty. This thing is a hundred. No, it's only sixty feet away, right? Yeah, well, whatever's further from you. So it's oh, actually. Yeah, I think I'm 60 feet too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, 60 feet too. I'm, I'm, I made sure I was in range for all, all, the majority of my spells. Okay. Um. Then I will do a good old fashioned while nobody is close to it. Eight D6. And then that's three, six, nine, uh, two, four, six, eight. Okay, yeah. Um, let's do a good old fireball on him. Shit. All right. Deck save. Deck save. Yep, he's high enough in the air. All right, he has advantage on this. Okay. Oh, see, it wasn't even set up for advantage. Uh, he, oh, he yeah. There yeah. you go. Now it's rolling right. All right. All right. Here, let me set up the Charlotte and Dragon sheet so I can't. I don't keep fucking this up. Sure. Um, it needs to Still be. Still takes half though, right? Always roll advantage. Never whisper rolls. Yeah. Roll Ooh, yeah, that's good. Nice. Okay, now it's set up. Um. All right, and then so that's fifteen mm -hmm. damage. Yeah, and I don't really want to roll re-roll any of those. So um, yeah. he takes it takes 15. it. Mm -hmm. It takes it. It's still fine. That's my turn. All right. Next in the order is Gabar. Uh, the one two punched uh, worked well last time, so I'll do it again. Two more um, minute meteors coming at him. Mm -hmm. And they're two uh, different deck saves. Two different deck saves. Uh, that oh, shit those are not right. It's the, he actually has a plus four. Oh, okay. So the second one um, saves. The second one saves, first one fails, so nine points of damage on the first one, and half damage on the second for three, so that's 12 points of damage from that. And then the one-two punch with the magic missile uh, coming at him. One. Uh, three points of damage, three two, points of damage, four points of damage. Six, nine, ten. All right. He's still just fine. Fuck. Uh, I'm going to see that my fucking little spells are doing fuck all against this metal dragon. Be like, <laughs> yep. 
Pig Spy, where the fuck you at? And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move five uh, for a little further away. I'm gonna move five, ten. Just I want to just double check. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can fucking move plenty of feet away from him still. Fifteen, twenty. I'll okay. Move there. All right, that's your turn. That's it. All right, Quintus, you're up. All right. Uh, I'm going to attempt to uh, slow the dragon mm -hmm. and have it get covered up in ice nice. and frost. Um, he'll use one oh. of his leg legendary resistances. That's one. Oh, well, to you, the benefit of he might succeed on a roll. That's true. He might. I think, I'll yeah. give him the. Sh I'll give him the. Yeah, you're right. I should give him the benefit of the doubt. But I mean, you don't have to. It's a deck save, right? Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. Oh yeah, he's fucking terrible at those. Let's get it. Yeah, legendary resistance. Yeah, burn him. Burn him. Burn him. Burn him. Yeah. Right. Uh, good to know. Uh, yeah. And then Gabar, I don't know where you are, but stay safe. And I'll give you a D8. Yeah. I'll try. Thanks. All right, that's your turn. Sapphira. All right. Uh, Sapphira is going to go right over here, helping a big small flank this thing. But she's no, not. Gonna... You would. You can. You have to be in an adjacent square, so you'd have to be here to flank. Oh. Or here I mean, flank. I won't be able to flank, but I'm gonna be like holding the defensive for the other. Ah, uh, I see. You just, you're just helping. Yeah. Clever. Also, oh, I think like not Illican's, mechanically. Illican's big enough to flank with both of you. That's true. Uh, will I? I'm going to uh, what is it? Cast Toll the Dead on this mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dead. Um, what is the save on that? Is a Wisdom saving throw. Wait a minute now. Okay. Hey, finally, the if harmed damage is higher. Save. With a shot. Mm. Yep, it has advantage. Um, all right, that's your turn. Mm hmm. can. FYI, mm -hmm. uh, you can hold an action. I think. You can what? Hold your. You, can hold, you have a second in action, so you can hold a, mm -hmm. an attack if you want. Oh. Good Haste. notes. I'm going to hold my action to I swing guess. an axe. I don't see why you can't, but I don't know. That seems Technically, weird. Technically, yeah. Thank you. Read me haste real quick. Can you post it? Yeah, post it. Yeah. All right, guys, where's the flank spot here? Because if it says, yeah, here. Because if it says, like, something, something, something on your turn, then that's not on your turn. Mm -hmm. On each of its turn. So you can't hold a... Hasted oh, action. yeah, yeah, yeah. I did sure. my turn anyway. That's fine. I was right. kind of thinking it says like you I have to do it damage on, on it. your it, turn. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Makes sense. I'll do Makes damage sense. next Makes turn. Sense. Yeah. But I guess you can theoretically. Dodge with it, well, no, you're right. You're right. Well, no, now hold up. No. I guess theoretically you could use your. No, you can't. Hasted dodge, action you? first? No, because it's an additional action. Well, you can't. Yeah, you can't cast a spell with that. The fucking action. law has been settled. You can't hold the hasted action. That's hold the on. Can rule. I cast? Yeah. Can I cast two spells in a turn? No. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Unless the second one, one is a bonus a action. Cantrip that's a. Yeah. All right. That's okay, your. So... Illican, you're up. Oops, so... Sorry. All good. Flank means advantage. Yes. Yeah, and you would need to move over. Oh no, you're in it. You're right. That's good. Okay. Okay. So oh, you got to hold your action. Still, yeah, it's 60, 60 feet in the air. Oh, it's still in the air. It's still next in the air. Turn, next yeah. turn, I, actually, I actually just wanted to see what this does, honestly. Uh, so it just brings Yeah, up you would have to click on the okay, attack so, itself. So if if the bite and claw is that, is, is that one action? When it says makes... Correct. Okay, so that means I can actually do four then. No, no, three, because be haste three. says one extra attack. Yeah. Whichever uh, one's more powerful. I see. It's it's all uh, it's all in the details, but okay, that's still great. All right, all right that's then do that one. so you're gonna hold your action. I'll hold a bite. All right, that is your turn. Well, you well technically now you can do a bite and a claw if you hold it. 
So yeah, hold hold the multi attack. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But okay, you can't yeah. do use your hasted okay. one, right? Because it's on, yeah, not on your right. turn. Yeah. We're getting it. Um. Okay. All right. So that's Illicans' <laughs> turn. Next in the order, Sonar. He goes to his Erdair and maintains concentration by succeeding on the save. Let's see. Come on. Save, 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 save. Yep, good to go. All right. we're, we're staying out of this one, Sonar, all right? He's like with you to ride or die. All right, it is now the Charlin Dragon's turn. Ride or die, oh, Come on. He doesn't Oof. get his breath weapon back. And Sweet. at the beginning of his He's turn, the beginning of his turn, <laughs> snow fucking flies up in the air as he lands on the ground, right? Ooh. Uh, the bear was holding the action for that trigger. So the bear can make a bite and attack with advantage. All right, so the bite and claw is incoming. Get him. Ooh. Hit. Nice. Oh. Hit. Nice. There we go. Hey. Ooh, 19 hits. Slashing. Now, this, you said he's resistant to magic that's or something, because these, um, I, I'm level six now. So oh, fuck. That's right. Yes, you're. Oh, they are magical. Yep. Well, I have oh. the magical buff, but I believe that the physical damage would just be the same as that, right? Because because what the text says is that yeah, you don't the, get a plus attacks, one, but it counts as magic. The attacks are simply magical to overcome uh, resistance. Oh, resistances. All right, you're good. You're good. You're good. So it yeah. would just you be straight damage. full damage. Yeah. So when you so this thing lands on the ground, blam, blam, right? And I showed you guys the art of how fucking big it is. Um, let me find it again, just because why not? Um, Bigger than a polar bear. Definitely. You see, you see this massive polar bear just anticipating when this thing lands, and the second it does, it just like like a rabid dog, it just goes. All right. So that's that's the art of the of the Chartland dragon. It's, um, it's yeah, he's huge, and um, yeah, he's yeah, so sick. It is so fucking sick, and he's a chonky boy too. So he <laughs> lands on the ground, blam, right? And you just run up and slash into this metal plating on him, and your claws actually dig into the chartlin and scrape against it, and the dragon sort of recoils back a little bit. Um, that's your that's your held action because um, you only get the two because you don't get your hasted action not on your turn. However, it's now on the ground. So, but it's it, but it still has that tether around it, right? So yeah. as the tether is holding it to you, it looks up the tether and looks at this polar bear, and it's going to. Firstly, it's going to take its big fucking claw and try to just slam it down on top of your head. Does a twenty-four hit? Oh yes. Okay, uh, you take 16 damage. Wow, 16. Mm -hmm. Big ouch. So I have, I have 9 HP on the bear. Make a constitution saving throw as the bear uh, to maintain yeah. concentration on your spell, please. You get plus 3. You get plus 3 and a d4 for bless. And I get the d8 if I really want to keep it. Mm -hmm. right, that is a fail so far. Oh, no, you're plus good. Oh, wait, wait, no, you're plus good. Three. Yeah, yeah, it's a success. Con, right? Con, right? Yeah. I hit dexterity by accident. Oh. Oh, shit. So what's yeah, your yeah. bonus? Oh, it's plus three, right? Plus three, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're fucking groovy. All right, that's... No. Oh, you're blessed too, don't yeah. forget. No, no, so th th we're going with the first roll, right? We're going with the first roll, Yeah, okay. it's fine. You succeed on that one. I still succeed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's just one of his attacks, okay? It then will swing around with its tail and smash it into you. Okay, let's see what that is. A 25 to hit. Wow, 25, oh, yeah. It doesn't have For to For 16 that. bludgeoning. Oh, oh yeah, okay. So, um... Rolling incredibly average oh, damage. I guess mm. what, V would have been dead. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And then do I roll the con again? Yep. You will have 32. to, yeah. 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 You That's get almost got. You're good. All right, but you revert back, right? I, I revert back, yeah, the bear is gone. All right. Wow. This, so this is the first time you guys have seen this. Literally, the bear, the bear almost like vanishes as Illican just gets like you know sent flying. Mm -hmm. And it still gets one more attack. Um, a new major con save. Oh yep. my god! It still Sorry, gets one hold, more attack. Hold on, hold on. So um, I do take a little damage in my regular form. Let me just. Uh, Piece of AC goes up. 
What was it? 16? Oh, it gets so... two with its claws. Let's so suffer so, nine damage so or seven at, damage. I'm at, I'm at 40 when all things. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's going to hit you with its claw again. Oh, boy. Uh, 14 to hit. Okay, hold on, hold on. My AC, so my AC was increased before, but okay, yeah, that that misses. All right, nice. and now nice. it's going it's going to flap its wings, and I need oh. everyone within ten feet to make a dexterity saving throw. I got advantage. Still what? hasted, I guess. Yeah. 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 Both of y'all got advantage and plus three. Save. Nice. Say, well, big smile. You had it. It's the you're not with advantage, right? But Sapphira, Sapphira is, yeah. So everyone saves. Um, let me check my notes here. Uh, nothing happens. As it beats its wings and creates this dust that starts flying, or snow that starts flying everywhere, and you guys start to get bludgeoned back if you hold your ground. Um, wait, Big Smile, you're immune to being knocked prone, right? Uh, yeah, when I take the dodge action. Oh, when you yes. take the dodge action. Oh, you did, you did. When so I yeah, did. at the moment, you you would be. You would have just taken the damage. Um, however, it is now your turn, Big Smile. Finally, let's do this. I'm about to throw a whole let's bunch go. of punches into this guy. About to fucking crush metal with your fists. Uh, yeah. 25. That hits. Oh, actually, plus four, so a whole lot. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, it takes the damage. And, uh, I'm gonna stunning strike him. I knew this was coming. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Uh, and what kind of uh, what kind of save is that? Uh, con fifteen. Burn those legendary resistances. Come on. Yeah, mm, we'll see. And I don't believe you have advantage. He's probably got even higher con than strike. He has a very he has a very high con. Um, all right. Constitution oh, saving throw. Here it comes. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> uh, but hold up. So your stunning, it, is your stunning strike magical? Did we decide if it wasn't? They, Jeremy uh, Crawford uh, says no. I, I, I get this now. Well, that's his. Uh, that's the. That's for damage. For determining damage, yeah. yeah. But is key magic is what I'm trying to decide. I don't think so. Uh, right. I think there's a sage. Uh, it's on this. it's more it's more important. Yeah, it's more important about magic resistance. Magic resistant is to overcome spell effects. Give the monk this one thing. Magical, <laughs> magical spell effects. Yeah, m m spells and magical effects. Uh, uh, neither the key feature nor stunning strike feature is defined as magical for game purposes. All right, boom. Uh, legend, legendary resistance. Let's go. Oh, we got this okay. in the bag. I will rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. Second attack here. Ah, oh, shit, 15. You have a D8 if you want it. Um, Yeah, I think I Although have saving throws might be important. 17. Yeah. Um, are, you are you gonna use your- uh, Yes, yeah, you gotta call it before you yes, know, I am. so. Yes, I am. Okay, you, you hit. Nice. Sweet. So another eight damage. Mm-hmm. And can I keep spamming the stunning strike? I think you can. Yeah, it costs all your key points, but you can. Yeah. It's it, like divine uh, smite. Stunning strike yeah. is really good. Uh, I'll run through another stunning strike then for you, Jay. Okay. Uh, here comes a constitution saving throw. Come on, you fucking bastard. What? <laughs> no Jesus. way. Splotch! This is my last one. <laughs> What does stunning oh, strike do? Yes, what is, is a bad idea. What does stunning strike do? Uh, Stun stuns them. I just yeah, here I'll read stunned until the end of his next turn. Uh, until the end of my next turn, I think. This is horrible. It's OP. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, I'm assuming yeah. stunning strike is going to get a nerf in D and D one. Yeah, it has to almost can't move. move. Yeah. It's yeah, because he's defense. not. I mean, everyone says monks are crap, but I he's don't know immune. Why. He's immune to this paralyzed, is <laughs> but it doesn't paralyze him, right? Monks are over. Oh, no, no, stunned is a they different a condition. Things, but... Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Can't move. Hmm. That was only your second attack, right? 
Yes. So you still get one more? Yes. Wait, Ooh, he's got boy. the key for it. The thing is, if I burn it now and I still fail again, it's just the likelihood of that is so crazy. I've used my last ones. Last legendary resistance. Okay. There it Let's goes. Go. Go. Yeah, what, he's, <laughs> got he's got a plus got 10. He's got a plus 10. Like the, the likelihood no way he fails that three times. Was, yeah, that's There's just no way. improbable. I know. All right. Well, Thank regardless, that's uh, crazy. Big Small doesn't know any of this, so he's just going to go for one more puncheroo here. Mm hmm. That hits. 27. So four bludgeoning. Mm hmm. Uh, and I'll, I'll burn a, a third key point. One more stunning strike. Try and get in there. There we go. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would have like popped off. Of that. Uh, I'm sweating. All right, that's the end of that. <laughs> that's the end, end of the fucking turn. Nonsense. <laughs> fucking bastard. Oh All right. my god. Well, I waited four turns to do that, so. All right, Valen will move forward. Making up for lost time. Yeah. Awesome. She will cast Blight. for lost time. Oh, that was a really bad roll. Um, con save. It has advantage. It succeeds. It's half a, what's half of 27? 13. 13. 13. 13. All right, it takes 13 necrotic damage. Um, she uses one of her big guys to, to attack this thing. All right, he's still up. All right, that is the end of Valen's turn. Next in the order, V. All right. And I'm going to do. Um, they're 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 only there for one reason. The kobolds are only there for one reason. Um, for Valen, they're not going to run out into the fray. Right. One hit, and they'll be dead. Let's get one of these that's one hit on them that's not on us she's not sending them she needs them yeah but no like the fact that they're here Wait, at all can you charm like... them and be like yo get in there oh the one the gulp he he is less like he's been stoic this whole time he is the most stoic he's ever been or like not stoic the opposite he's giddy he's excited he's finally seen a real dragon um <laughs> all right what kind of, this is a wisdom save for what what else does this do yes so he, if he fails, he uses his reaction to move as far away from me as. as and this, he well, he can't move. Oh, he can move, but this he is, he, the, yeah, but this is charmed. It's not a charm or a frightened. Uh, let's. You just gotta hear me. All right. Uh, this is advantage. Ugh, eleven. You take 16 psychic damage mm -hmm. he takes and it. must move your speed away. And this is force movement, so he doesn't. Oh, no. It, or do they get attacks of opportunities? Yeah, they get attacks of opportunities. This is going to throw him way out of my range. Maybe not. I don't know. Sorry, uh, but that's three attacks. 10, that's fair. 15, 20, 25, 30 down there. Isn't the other way? It's away from V, so it would be in like this direction. Well, I mean, you can't move he that can't way. Can't run through those All guys. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fair. But that's that's perfect. I just wanted the. Or attacks. actually, he can because he's two sizes larger. Oh, so he can. So the space uh, interaction. No, never mind. I, I don't care. Actually, he was still within Five, range of my stuff. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 I guess. All right. I don't really know. I can't so move him off the map of anymore. Yeah. yeah, everybody That's gets fine. an attack of opportunity. Natural one, baby. Miss. Uh. Miss. Uh, big Smile, you would have had advantage smiling. on that. Yeah. Yeah, miss. 18. Oh, it's a just hit. Glancing? 18's a hit. Yeah, glancing. Uh, okay. Two damage. Awesome. Love it. All right. Two damage. 
And then oh, Illican. Illican make his... Yeah, you get to make a, a weapon attack. Wait. No, you don't. No, you don't. You used your reaction already. You held it as a polar bear. That's right, yeah. Um, okay. So, out of that whole ordeal, he took the psychic damage and two other extra. V, that's your turn? Uh, yes. Gabar, you're up. I'm gonna I'm finish off this uh, minute meteors with two more meteors at him. Okay. And he, he's in range? Uh, yeah, it's 120 feet. Okay. So, he's within 90. Two deck saves. And they have advantage, or he has advantage. One, two. He has advantage. Success and a fail. Uh, so the fail takes seven. Success, uh, he'll take two. And the one-two punch is pretty nice, but I'm going to upcast this magic missile uh, up to third level. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Three, six, seven, eight, 15. nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Fifteen. All right. I like this wow. little one-two punch combo. Still yeah. not bloodied yet. How many Fuck. of those meteors you got? That's it. There's six that I cast. I just threw all six of them, and that's pretty much all my magic missiles. Okay. Um, I'm getting pretty winded back here. Um, but I don't want this guy to get. Away, so I'm not gonna go anywhere. I've got to get my turn. That's it. Okay, quit us. Uh, I'm gonna try and hit him with another slow. Okay. Burned all his legendary resistance, so now's the time to do it. Fuck. What is it? What can I save? Wisdom. Fuck. Come on, you fucking idiot. Do it. All right, here it comes. Wisdom save with advantage. Nope. No shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, dude's fine. Oh, man. <laughs> the dice are in our favor. Oh, dude, man. I can't believe how well this is working. This is never Oh, happens. boy. For real. Working well we now until we he go. flies away. All right, that's the... Yeah. Now he's slowed. What does slow do? Yeah. He only gets one attack? Yeah, it's the opposite of haste. So one attack, minus two to AC and deck saves. Um, oh, he can only use an action. So he can still use his multi-attack. Yeah, but he, if he has multi-attack, he can only use one. Uh, Damn. Yeah, it can't oh. make more than one melee or ranged attack during its turn. I should have been keeping track of how many rounds. How many rounds? I'm are actually at? looking that up right now. Because if it's ten, then it would be over. Yeah, well, we're not at ten yet. We're at least at three or four. It's been. This is his first round on the ground because Elkin had his held action. So it's five to oh, get true. to the ground. So it was, yeah. So it's six. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. This is the sixth round. This is six, yeah. Yeah, it'll be his second turn on the ground. Yeah, right. Okay. So we'll just track it with the Charlotte Dragon because he's at the end of the turn order. And, and then, then Earthbind wears off, right? Yeah, so we'll, at the end of the Charlotte Dragon's turn, it'll be round seven. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's keep track of that. All right, he slowed. Um, um, and does he make a save at the end of his turn or whatever? He does. He does. Okay. All right, cool. Um, and his, then I'm gonna toss my last part of inspiration to V. Mm -hmm. Um, stay safe out there. If you're hiding, you're doing well. If you're dead, we'll mourn you later. <laughs> All right, that's your um, turn. I'll get in the aura and make my concentration check. Fail, 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 fail. <laughs> fail, 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 fail. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, plus the bonus. Yep. Three. Dang, you're good. I fail. Oh, yep, I fail. You fail? Yep. Don't you, you don't have bless? Nope. You, I thought you did, though. Uh, you nope. get the plus three. Okay. For yeah, which is six plus three. You fail, so you just drop slow as soon as you cast it. Fuck. Damn! Unless, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna give you inspiration. my inspiration. Yeah. Still could fail, so. I'm gonna give you my inspiration. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 You got it. That's good. 
There we oh, go. You succeed. Ooh, okay, exactly. bastards. <laughs> All right, that's your turn. Hey, that was yeah. The, use one right. of our legendaries. Sapphira, <laughs> you're up. I would have said to Quintus, like, hey, you're good, you. He says, ah, oh, you're good. You can defeat this thing. And I say, I'm gonna fuck this up. Yeah. What he sees. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna go straight up towards this thing. Pull cool. one square back, please. Beautiful. One square back. Yeah. There you go. Okay. My bad. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna <laughs> attack right up under it <laughs> three times with the uh, uh, Jihad Kala, because I kind of realized this actually does do better damage. Than the Are you gonna do the thing for it too? My Apparently not. Um, where is this fire damage coming from? Uh, it's Does the it? spell description. If I uh, attune to it, then it would do 1d6 fire damage. What? Hold up. No, you have to choose if you want to use it. Let's look it up real quick. Okay. While you're... Okay, the sphere containing your fragment of ancient... Yeah, uh, so you have never... You have to use... A bonus action. A right. bonus action to call forth the spirit. You've never done this before. You're Can basically you gonna. Bonus? You want to do it? I'll do the bonus You're, action right now. Yeah. You want to and let the spirit inhabit your body? Fuck yeah. Okay. I'm so, gonna defend this town as best as I can. All right. So here's what happens. So you draw out the jihad kala, right? And it begins that black smoke that sort of comes off of it faintly, right? And as you hold, grip your hands on it, your your the veins in your arm bulge out, right? As you let the spirit inhabit you, and the smoke pours through your nose and in your ears and through your veins, right? And as it does, your eyes go fucking black, right? Yeah. Sapphira, you're gone. Sapphira is no longer with us, right? The person that you are now is an ancient raghead chieftain, right? With the anger and fury of a barbarian. Um, <laughs> so currently you ignore the effects of exhaustion. However, as soon as it's done, after an hour, you get two levels of exhaustion. Oh boy, okay. I can do with that. I can deal with that. Okay. But so you gotta remember now, you are no longer Sapphira. You are a barbarian, ragged chieftain. And they are like fast as hell with their fucking blades, right? All right, now it is your turn. All right, 19. That hits. Okay. Uh, let me roll to more attacks. Mm hmm. With the Shihad Kala. Mm hmm. 17. Miss. And 20. Hit. All right, cool. I'm going to do two smites on that. Uh, okay. That's going to be an extra 48. Okay. 14. Radiant it is damage. It is resistant. Seven. Radiant damage. Eight. Oh, seven. All right. It's resistant to that. Yeah. It's still uh, not bloody yet. Really? After all yep. this time? Yep. Oh, boy. Okay. It's close, though. Okay, 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 okay. That's going to be my turn. All right. At the end of your turn, it is now whoever's turn's next on the turn order. Illican. All right. Um, I was debating it, but you know what? I'm, I'm just going to turn into a bear again. Okay. <laughs> so bonus action... The I figured as much. Yeah, he's back and give him that 42 hit points back. He's back. And I still got the haste, right? Mm hmm. And you can give him 42 40, hit 42, points. 42, yeah. yeah. There you go. All right. All right you're I a bear again. Move. I am going full bear once more. All right. I don't even know how to count movement with this huge token. But I, uh, I just I pick the bottom most square that's closest to him and then pull the thing. Like, uh, oh, I see. Uh, yeah, you uh, can yeah, if you, you, you right-click while you're yeah. dragging it. That works. Oh, uh, yeah, no, yeah, pick the closest square to it, and then you can go somewhere in here. Yeah, so you're yeah. good. You can make it down there. Yeah, 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 I should be able to make it. It's like mm -hmm. here. Yep, definitely. And then I can attack him, yes? You can. I'm just trying to think, is there anything? No, no, I'm good. Okay. That hits. Nice. Okay. Ouch. Piercing. That misses. That misses. Okay. Mm -hmm. At least we got some licks on. 
All right, that you're, is. You're hasted, aren't you? One yeah, more you attack. Oh, one claw more, attack. one more. Thank you, thank you. One more claw, whichever one's claw, stronger. Bite, that hits. Oh, nice. I'm slashing. It is currently bloodied. Fuck yeah. Yes. Nice. Get the spread. Easy. Let's get the spread. <laughs> All right. At Wait, the end of your turn. Wasn't it already ruined? It? Did it look already ruined? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, it? yeah. It did. Oh, yeah. It had way oh, more hit points, like substantially way more hit points than it does right now. Uh, those dwarves did a fucking number on it. Um, okay. Nice. And as the bear, you get a seven, eight, nine, uh, ten plus the three. Is that enough? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's going to wear off anyway, but. All right. All right. Sonar will cure wounds on Gabar because he, he, he didn't know that you. He just noticed that you were wounded. I yeah, I took a lick in the beginning of this. Mm -hmm. Nine. Fuck yeah, my brother. He will say, "The body heals, the soul endures." Er there. Never right. get tired of hearing that. Me neither. I'll never get tired of saying it. <laughs> um, all right, <laughs> Chardel and Dragon's turn. All right, it's slowed. I can only make one attack. Get your breath weapon back, spell. you stupid son of a bitch. Please don't. Damn it. All right. Uh, in that case. You have to space out the spell more so it's actually a readable thing. Wait, read this thing to me again. All right. So he's got half speed. Mm -hmm. No reactions. Mm hmm. Um, minus two to AC and dexterity saving throws. Mm -hmm. um, on its turn, it can use either an action or a bonus action, not both. Mm -hmm. And it can't make more than one melee attack. Okay. Fucking beautiful. So it can still use part of its multi attack because it is not a melee attack or a ranged attack or any sort of attack. It's going to shudder, right? It begins shaking and shuddering. And as it does, the ground starts to vibrate. And what's the range on this? Hell yeah. All right. Big smile. Quintus, Sapphira, the polar bear. All of you guys need to make wisdom saving throws against being charmed. Oh, some of you got yeah. aid though, right? Or uh, watcher something? Watch yeah, watcher watch spell. I have watcher spell too, so I get advantage. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, nice. uh, wisdom is my character sheet, right? Because it's my mind. Yep. yep. Quintus, you also have the watcher spell, but I guess that doesn't really matter in this case. All right. Illican also has the watcher's well, but um, I think he's fine. Okay. Thanks. So it didn't want to have to do this, but it has to now. It doesn't have to. Oh, it does. Yeah. Uh, um, it's uh, getting really okay. wounded. Um, so big smile, you save. This does not affect you at all. Sapphira, you save. This does not affect you at all. Okay. Illican, you save. This does not affect you at all. However, Quintus, you rolled the four, right? Mm-hmm. As it sends out this sort of vibration, right? All of you feel anger well up inside of you, an inner rage. Like you oh, want to fuck. fucking rip apart everyone that's near you, right? But you guys hold your head and resist it, right? But Quintus, you don't. Yeah, he was already feeling like that. And you hear this sort of voice in your head that's voiceless, right? That's telling you to kill them, kill them all. Um, and you need to... You need to move close to it and attack it, basically, to the best of your abilities. And it's not like, attack it with only a melee weapon. It's attack it with the best of your abilities. You need um, to attack wh whoever's close. Let's say he picks Illican for you to attack. Okay. To mentally choose who you attacks. 
So he chooses as the chartlin affects your mind, your eyes go black, right? Like that fucking milky sort of black that shimmers blue, right? And you feel this rage and your Clintus is gone <laughs> and you now have to attack Illicam uh, to the best no. of your ability. Yeah. Um, that was Shoot, just can't miss part of his multi-attack. So he still gets to make one attack and he's going to go for Illicam. He's got to get out of here. Uh, he's going to whip him with his tail, I guess. Um, so here it comes. Illican. Uh 19 to hit. That hits. Take 15 bludgeoning damage. 15. And that's a DC 12, right? No. No, it's DC 12. I don't know, why. I don't know why the fuck I thought that. Sorry. I'm trying to make him fail. All right, roll your concentration check on this fucking spell. <laughs> He's so uh, mad about it. No. Right. Yes. yes. It's a seven with bless, and you have a D8. I, I could roll my D8, yeah. I roll that D8 right, right now. <laughs> that D8. This, is, this is the moment. You, you could do three. it just with bless. I think we have one inspiration. Roll a D4. Roll a D4 first. Oh, oh. Bam. roll a D4. Yeah, D4. Oh, too. yeah, you still could have done that. Wow. You should have wow. done that first. You so that's four, was. five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah, you it. succeed. Yeah, you succeed. <laughs> oh, man. So, so, first, we know you got inspiration still. So it's like, sheer... it's like impossible, nearly impossible for him to actually fail. Well, By sheer will anymore. That's part of inspiration. I don't have any more. It's possible for him to fail, but he would have yeah. to be pretty bad at luck if that. Yeah, happened. everybody had one, so. I mean, we just saw back to back natural ones and then a one on a 1d8. All rolled, so. All right, yeah. that's the end of the Charlin Dragon's turn. Next in the order. Oh, and he gets to make a save? Yeah, for slow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but you're charmed by him. What does charm mean? I can't. Let's see. Does it say anything about losing concentration? No. <laughs> oh, I can't target the charmer with harmful abilities or magical effects. You gotta drop it. Yeah. Well, but you he already targeted. Wait, it, wait so hold up. He char you charmed him, right? Or you slowed him, right? And now he's got you. Right when the malevolent presence hits you, he's he, you're charmed. Yeah, so I can't hit him anymore. But he's still charmed under you. Whatever but, is happening is already happening. Yeah, but I want he wants you to let go of it, dude. He's got to he, get the fuck yeah. out of here. Does he have command of you? With that over you? It doesn't you? say mental control, but reading charmed. Right. Let's look up conditions here real quick. Let, oh, we're gonna it's slow, Cause Does listen, it guys, damage? I gotta say, you're beating the shit out of this guy, sure. and without it being very fun for Jay. So, <laughs> if slow dealt damage, then it would be harmful. I literally told you guys, I was like, you know what, this might not be hard on you guys. All right, let me look up what charmed means. Yeah, it's I like mean, the I'll first one on the sheet, right? Post it right there. That's. A charmed creature can't has. attack the charmer or target the charmer. Hmm. The thing is, this the spell has already been cast. But yeah, see, you want to just roll a d6? Even it goes your way, odd it goes my way. I love that. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Let's um, go. Even it goes my way. Fuck. Okay. It's gone. You decide to drop it and focus fire on on Illican. Yeah, mirror image though is my own thing, so that's so good. All right. So now hold up now, because you got charmed. Then that happened, and now he gets his all of his attacks because he's not floating anymore. Okay. Yeah. Because you can drop <laughs> concentration at any time, so it works yeah. out for us all the time. Yep, it sure does. And finally, for once, I would really appreciate if it worked out for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, cause like y'all do not need another advantage. You're kicking its ass. You've went six rounds and it's done like 10 damage to you guys. It's still not oh, bloody. I took 19, We're not kidding. 17. Okay. It just ass. got, it just well, got bloodied. Okay. Well, finally, technically finally that polar bear is taking all the damage. I, I don't <laughs> have to, I don't have to fucking like 
convince you guys of anything. I'm the fucking dungeon master. Let's go. All right. I, I feel like this is the first yeah, time I'm, I'm actually tanking. Like I'm actually soaking up some big damage. Oh, and it's the good I song too. It. All right, so All right. <laughs> another claw is coming it? for another claw coming for Lacan. Give it to me. Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh man. For eighteen. That, like, yeah, that hits. That just hits. It's All right, 18 over. damage. Roll that concentration check again. Oh, Come on, goodness. fucking well, it, it fail, are, you goddamn oh, yeah. bastard. You bastard, yeah. You can't. You can't. Success. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, let, um, me, let me take the damage. What was it? Um, 18. 18. You yeah. said it, it just hit? Is that your armor class 18? No, not the bear. My armor class is 17. But you, the 17. bear's armor class is not 17. Yeah, the bear's probably got like 12, AC. 12 or yeah. 13, yeah. Oh wait, what was I? Wait, I, I read plus two but hasted somewhere. Oh, so, yeah, maybe so if it's... the bear's got fourteen. Yeah. Well, what is the bear's thing? Wait, here? hold on. Where did I read that? Yeah, with though, haste, actually? it's got fourteen. No, it, it, with haste. It's haste. Haste. Oh, the haste. The yeah, haste it has a fourteen with haste, so that definitely hits. Um, so, so that was sixteen. But so we've not... done a tail, a claw, or fourteen. Another claw. And the charm thing. 30 um, to hit. Oh. Yeah, ignore the 16. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I get knocked out. Hold on. Uh, out of the bear form. Out of the, the bear form. There. Right. Yep, so I got knocked out of bear form. That bear is tanking. <laughs> yeah. Ah, holy fuck. There we go. Well, that, yeah, finally I get to play. Uh, play what are you going to do thing. again? Okay, so yeah. You gotta get the fuck out of there. All right, I now you out, no. more now you gotta make a concentration check. So the con save. Oh yeah, another one. Yeah. Oh fuck. Oh boy. All right, guys, here we go. Oh. Save. Nice. And then he gets another attack. Oh, uh, stop it! He hit with his tail. He hit with two claws, and now he does his wings, and that'll be it. Two claws, one tail, wings. Dex right. save. Here it's comes the wings. Oh yeah, it's a it's deck a save. For a Dex, deck save for anyone within ten feet. So uh, Illican uh, and uh, both of you get advantage. Illican and Sapphira. Success. Uh, success. All right, nothing happens. That is the end of the Chartland Dragon's turn. Can I delete the initiative for the polar bear? Yeah. All right, yeah. that ends it. He, we're on turn seven. Uh, big smile, you're up. You guys get one more turn to finish this guy off. Yeah, right. It took no, we got ten turns. It took no, you three yeah, turns. Yeah. Three. yeah. It took you three turns to get him bloodied. So you got another three turns to try to bloody him some more. Yeah, okay, I guess All we right. can get him while he's trying to fly away. If he chooses to, we'll say. We're not going to need to because I'm going to stun him right here. Ooh. Oh, nice. hey. Uh, 25. That hits. Four damage. Stunning strike. Come on. I should have given him legendary actions. Um, all right. Layer uh, actions. He's not a layer. Uh, yeah. All ten towns. Will doesn't care. The, t- the tundra. <laughs> Everyone gets layer <laughs> actions. Everything is layer actions. All right. What Home is the constitution is saving throw? Con Home is where the heart 15. is. Come on, you fucking idiot. Come Roll on. above a five. Done. Next. Okay. Uh, second attack. Hit. 28. Eight damage. Ouch. All right. Stunning strike. You got him. Smoke him. <laughs> Con save. Con save 15. Success. <laughs> and one last attack. Last try. This is your last key point, right? <laughs> Sorry. You hit. Seven damage. Last key point. Stunning strike. Come on. Got it. Come on. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, didn't need he's, those he's legendary resistances after girl. He's out of range for the silver Yeah, box. he moved out of my range. Yeah, he was yeah. in my range, but now he's not. All right. Too bad. Well, well, no more of those. Still some damage in there. That's about Thank all I can do. Fucking Christ. Fuck. Right. Yeah. Lens turn, she moves up. Damn. Um, she will 
So just magic missile again. You guys are doing great. Six, seven, eight, nine. That was garbage rolls. Uh, but guaranteeing damage, which is pretty good. All right, that's the end of her turn. V, you're up. All right. How likely is it that I see Quintus drop his spell and start drawing his weapon like he's about to go? You know, I got to say, honestly, the range is only supposed to be fucking 30 feet. Um, I haven't been playing it like that at all. Um, what was the R range of life? Vision. Um, uh, oh, I, I said, how likely is it that I see Illican drop his spell? And start mm -hmm. rushing towards Illican. I, I don't. I don't think so. Not likely. Okay. Not until he actually does it. Until he actually does it. That's um, right. Then I'll try to attack this dragon, which is eighty-five feet away. Um. I'm going to do a. Scorching Ray. Yeah. And that is 120 feet. Okay, cool. Scorching Ray. Got three of them coming. All right. Um, is, This is a disadvantage, right? Miss. Mm, sure. Yeah, because it's a ranged attack roll, right? Mm-hmm. Miss. All three of those miss. Yep, all three of them miss. <laughs> That's my turn. All right, Gabar, you're up. I know about where he's at, though. Even though I'm so far away, I can. Can I still chuck a mouse? I've been here? letting it ride so far, so yeah. if it's within all your right. range, it is. Uh, I'm gonna use my last third level spell to cast it one last time. Okay. Uh, to two of those coming at him. He has for an that range. advantage on these saves. Both save. Uh, he'll suffer a whopping five Four, points of damage. Five. All right. Um, and I'm gonna now that the blizzard is starting to encroach a little heavier, and I'm realizing I can't see as well. I'm gonna start moving up five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Okay. Action, bonus action, movement. That's my turn. All right, Quintus. To the best of your abilities, you need to hurt Illican. Evelyn, please, for the love of God, counterspell me. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I don't think she has oh, counterspell. Wait, did it say melee attack? She doesn't have counterspell. No, it doesn't say melee attack. It says, to the best oh, of his abilities, he needs to fuck this guy up. All right, I'm sorry, everybody. You're welcome, Jay. Do Thank it. You. Do it. <laughs> what's five, he, what's the Illican special? It's a third oh, level magic worse? missile. Oh, uh, count, <laughs> I, can I counter spell mm. Can you see him? Absolutely. Where? What's the range? 30 feet? Uh, 60 feet for counter spell. I'm 35 feet away from him. Um, all right. Here's what I want you to do. You, you don't. I lied. Know. I don't have any more third. War, I don't have any more third level spell slots. All right, oh, done. Shit. So every hit know. is a concentration yeah, we check. Need five concentration checks. You fucking rock, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's 22 damage. So go ahead and take it. You got plus three on each of these. 22. So that's... Uh, no, there. Are, it's five DC 10 checks. Yeah. Wow, I rolled four fours and one that. one. That's incredible. That's inc oh, oh, now that you're damaging dude. us, now you want to roll good. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I don't want to kill this thing. Hey, he's it. pissed off. He's going to conjure the most powerful magic missile he can. Yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. All right, so Illican, you get fucking blasted. Each magic missile is a new constitution save. So you need to make five constitution saving throws. Oh, fuck. Easy 10. Each one's plus three. Success. Success. Oh, uh, it would be the six, right? Hold up, yeah. slow down. Yeah. It would be the six. Seven, eight, blast. nine. Right. Plus blast, blast. doesn't matter. All right, success. Sweet. Come on, Illican. One more, one more. One Illican. There we go. go. Wow. God dang. Wow. wow. Yeah, that that is I, I crazy. Can't, I can't believe this. I mean, the bless helps a lot. All, all the buffs you guys gave me helped a lot, but that is <laughs> that is a remarkable streak. 
Gentlemen, oh, that's, yeah, that's amazing. Furious. Yeah. Now, amazing. however, Quintus, at the end of your turn, you get that's to make the crazy. save again. Oh, fuck. Hey, I'm never going to break out of this. Damage. I have no wisdom. Wisdom saving throw. You get advantage on these, damn it. Yeah. Oh. Meet it to beat it. No, oh, fuck yes. <laughs> Thank you, Sapphire. Do so you break free? Yeah, immediately horrified at what he's done. All right. That is the end of. Uh, the your turn that's crazy so your eyes go back to normal right because you don't have any chartlin on you do you you uh, don't know right? no. not even in your pack or anything no okay no. i didn't think you guys kept any we didn't take yeah. the we didn't take the lantern yeah okay Imagine good oh yeah that. um quintus <laughs> what in god's his names sapphira you're up uh I might as well get everybody within the within the radius just in case. As Cheers. I will yell out, uh La Stelin, you be iced. <laughs> she is like controlled by some other like crazy whatever. Yeah, and you're and speaking in like, a different speaking language. In a completely different language. Yeah. Ten. Miss. Natural twenty. And that hits. I'm gonna smite that Bam. one. Right? Yeah, roll the one the on both the crit dice. I'm gonna smite that one with okay. a second level spell slot. So that's gonna be sixty-eight. Okay. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then the sixty-eight. Wow, oh. was, uh, that hurts. That hurts it bad. Forty damage. Yep. Oh man, is this thing fucked up? Wow. Wow, this is like changing everything. I should have just legendary resistant the first thing. All right. Well, then he I just want stunned eventually. I would. I thought it was gonna be fun to let you guys peck on him a little bit, and then he can <laughs> dip out. Um, <laughs> Lace a chat on ace. All right. Sapphira's speaking in different tongues and shit. Doesn't make any that sense. Tomorrow. It's very strange. Uh, a lot of weird shit's happening. <laughs> yeah, Illican, you're up. Okay. If I use my extra action, or I guess bonus action, right? You could use bonus action to disengage. No. Okay. Only, you like, can use your can. hasted action though. I can use my hasted action to disengage, yes. and then I still get my full double movement. If you dash. Yes. No, because he has double movement with the haste, right? Oh yeah, facts. Yeah. Don't you dare leave your flanking spot. <laughs> you did 11 yeah. health, man. <laughs> you fucking dead. sit here. Oh, and if he goes down, the spell drops. Yeah, yeah if I go down, the spell Oh, this drops. dragon's gonna fuck you up, buddy. Yeah, man. No, <laughs> just get the to. hell out of there, Elican. I'm right feeling now. more you, you, you can, up. yeah, yeah. And I have- I You have can four. dash and then get double-double movement. Okay, dash. Uh, dash the dash. Out. All right. Well, if you want to get as far away from this fucker as possible, right? Can what I you can do. Opportunity attack. Disengage. Yes, you can disengage with your da with your hasted action. Throw away your hasted action. Now it's a normal turn, right? You can use your double movement because you're hasted, and then dash and get double movement again. So 120 feet away from him without proccing an opportunity attack is Correct. how far you can move. Yeah, okay. but that only, uses everything that you have. Instead it's, of using dash, though... I'm it's also the length of his beam. I know, so it's it's like, is it worth it just oh, to... Shit. just to risk the opportunity? Yeah. You could also get, get 60 cover. feet away well, and heal. What I was thinking is that I go 60 feet away and then heal. Yeah. That was that was my plan. So All right, I guess you can get 60 feet away and heal. 60 feet, so, oh my god, I can go real far. Oh my god. Yeah, technically, it's actually yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, my, 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 my. 180. Oh my goodness, so I could just... Boop. Yep. <laughs> so oh you see Illican run like you've never seen him run before. Like a, fucking, <laughs> like a, like a sprinter all in an Olympic marathon. All runner. fours, yeah. All fours. Yeah, sure. We've seen him run like that before. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. All you've, right. never seen, you've never seen a man, let alone a giant, run like this. And right. then... Um, and you heal. Okay, then I'm gonna go all in with the cure wounds. We're gonna cast it at like third level. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Put it up. Yeah, okay. you should just be able to click on it and it'll do it. Yeah, I just wanted to bring it up just in case, but I think. Not bad. Okay. There you go nine. All right, I'll take. I'll take anything. Oh no, it's twenty. 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 Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, thinking too fast. That's okay. Okay, so. 31, there we go. Okay, you're up. 
That's your turn? Yeah, that's, that's everything. Okay, Sonar's turn. He will... 5, 10, 15, 20. He'll get beside his air there. And he'll maintain concentration. That's all he really can do. Um, constitution saving throw. Maintain concentration, Sonar. Yep. He's he's also been rolling clutch. Yeah, true. Um, all right. That's Sonar's turn. The Charter and Dragon goes. Now... He's going to roll a five on this D6 or six. He is not going to. Because I say so. Yeah, we were too yeah. far. Before right. you do that, you I literally do called it. one thing right quick. <laughs> not on my turn. I forgot to roll for Spell Chaos on my turn for Mouse Meteor. Oh, to concentrate on it? Well, that and okay. Yeah, for oh, concentration your wild too. Magic. Oh, your wild magic. I but no, you. I do need to. I need to see if I held on to a mouth uh, meteor. Sorry. Yep. I completely forgot about that. That's okay. Let's roll that real quick. I'm good. Sorry. You're good. You're good. No, 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 no problem. Um, okay. However, I think didn't Illican just have a turn? You didn't. Did you save at the end of your turn against oh, the lizard? Thank you. Thank you. Because this is about to be some shit if you failed. And you're out of the aura. I am out I'm of still the aura. Class. He still has bless. I still have bless. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Eight. Nah. Oh, roll a d4, because you could succeed. It's four though. You fail. I fail. Chris, you got inspiration. Uh. Does someone have inspiration? Does Chris, like you it? have a fucking inspiration. I'm looking at you. Chris. <laughs> Chris. Are you, you going to use it? You better <laughs> fight the storm, brother. All right, you give him your inspiration. Oh, Fight the like storm, brother. One more roll. Oh my god! Okay, and then, you don't and have to. Less... I was just, I knew you had it. No, he no, does. Yeah. He, he, we forced him. <laughs> All right, it's one more save. Oh, you succeed. Got it. All right, there it is. Now, Charlton well, Dragon's man. turn, and he has his full mm. range of movement. Aim at me, oh, son fuck. of a bitch. Uh, you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna eviscerate those. He's gonna go like this. Oh, um, my God. What? Geo, you killed the Kabolds. <laughs> so, oh, oh, so, so he will... Uh, oh, it's just the worst sound. Right across. And Please. you... And I need a deck save from Illican. And these two Kobolds get completely eviscerated. You get a plus two, oh or is that God. just advantage for haste? Uh, advantage. 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 Oh. Right, do you have advantage um, on a dexterity saving throw? I, c I can reduce the damage. I haven't been using it, but uh, okay. But it, well, we're in uh, we're in dire straits now. A dex save, right? With mm -hmm. two uh, dex yeah. saves, take the higher. So, that's a fail. Yeah. And so you take a total bless, of bless. thirty-five. Yeah, I don't think a thirteen is going to make it. No. Oh yeah, I was taking ten for some reason. Uh, oh, no, so thirty-five. Okay, 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 hold on. Let me let me read this. So, let's see here. Can oh I save man, I'm going down. Can I do it? Yeah. Can, can I endure? All right. Oh yeah, you got this. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got it. You can you keep it. yourself from failing. Uh, yeah, so four wait. plus your con. Yeah, plus my con, which is uh, let's two, see here. one. Let's see, uh, three. Uh, so it's four, five, six, seven. Seven off of it, you don't go down. So you have 28 damage. 28 oh, damage. Oh, wow. Three hit points uh, up. However, wow. the con save does go up this time. Yeah, we gotta make a 14 now. A 14 con save. This might be oh, it. Okay. I With fucking bless. hope so. With bless. Um, Brennan, you said it was 28 damage? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Three hit points left. Oh, shit. <laughs> we are hanging Three. on by a thread. <laughs> Three. Okay, and then normal constitution save. You got it. Bless. 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 Oh. You just <laughs> fucking save it. Holy fucking shit. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. We live to fight another round. Oh. <laughs> All right, that was the end of round Bill seven. Can MVP of this fight. Wow. That's the end of round seven. Round right? eight's coming up, yeah. Round eight is coming up. 
All right. Let me make sure he can't do anything else. Beautiful. <clears throat> oh. He can't do anything else. And it just doesn't have any fly speed. That sucks so bad for it. <laughs> All right. That's the end of the Charlin Dragon's turn. Two more rounds. Big Smile, you're up. Even though I can't Round see eight. it on the map, can I flank around the back of him with Sapphira here? Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll put my... Oh, no. You can just leave your token. I'll be in the corner, corner but That's yeah, perfect. mechanically I'm behind him. No problem. And let's just take three more punches. Just a one-two-one one combo here. Mm -hmm. one, it's... two. Four, four. Okay. Eight. Uh, 20. Hit. Four, nine. That's a little better. And lastly, net 20. Whoa. Okay. Uh, okay, so now he's crazy. he's, right, he's wobbled. Hurt. Oh, he's crushed. Yeah. Oh crushed. God. What does that mean? Everyone has advantage on him. Yes. yes. Fucking Christ. Oh my God. All right. Attack that's... rolls, I should say. Sorry. Attack yep. rolls. Have that's the end of your turn. End your fucking that's... turn. The... <laughs> You got no more key. He's not a threat. I know. There's nothing else I can do. So. Uh, All right, it's Valen's turn. If it ain't she, okay. So the laser beam cuts over her cobalt, right? And we get sort of a flash in the cobalt's mind, right? The one that was like the bodyguard and stuff. As he's getting incinerated, he realizes that the only remember earlier when I said that he only talks about one subject. It's dragons, mm. and he got killed the way that he really wanted to. Um, so that he's feels, like, yeah, he's yes. like, if I was going to die, this is the way to go. And they yeah, both just get fucking bl obliterated. Right. And Valena's is really pissed off about this. Um, cause those are her, I mean, you guys haven't seen her do it yet, but those are her, those she are needs those. Those are her health potions. Um, so <laughs> she, she, uh, <laughs> the, it's dark. So that's why she brought him here. Yep. It sure is, and that's why they weren't in the torn order either. However, she will, at this point... Uh, oh, I guess that's a concentration. What is, how long does this take to cast? Oh, no, she'll just do this one. All right, she will use her highest level spell that she can cast. Awesome. As these two... Cobalts rise up. Come on, load, load, load. There we go. All right, she, uh, she. Cass's dance macabre, right? As she raises her hands up, green energy shoots out of her fingers and animates their bodies as they stand up. Um, they can roll initiative. Oh, they're next. They're next. Um, or is V next? Oh, V's probably next. Um, as they rise up as zombies. Um, and she orders them to go attack. That's the end of her turn. Next thing, order V. All right. Well, first thing, I will speak into Quintus's mind and be like, "Are you all right?" The uh, chardon got to me. It's it's fine now. Hopefully. All right. Well, I will cast. One, two, three, four. Yep. Let's do a mind sliver. All right. I need an intelligence save. All right, he has advantage on this. Fails. You're like Fail. way out of range, though. Oh, you're out of range, bud. Oh, I am. Oh, I thought it was 60. Oh, but I, but he moved. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. Um, how far am I? 80. Mm. 
Yep. All right. I guess I'm not doing that. Then, uh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, he's crushed right now. Um, got a scorching run. That should be a flat roll. Yeah, I, it's still just it just be a flat roll. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'll just do a a firebolt and we'll save my spells. A firebolt. Uh, okay. Yeah. Actually, let's do um, let's do this one. Tasha's mind whip. Is that uh, um, in range? That is in range, yes. Okay. Um, intelligence save. All right, he fails. All right, eight psychic damage. Mm hmm. All right, what else happens? Nothing. And then, um, yep, on his turn, he can only move, take an action, or bonus action. Okay. And he gets only one of the three. And that's my turn. All right, the zombies move forward. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20. So, something like this. They can make it to there. Um, pretty much. All right, that's the end of their turn. Oh, God. Oh, the kobolds weren't on the initiative. All right, that's the end of their turn. Gabar, you're up. Yeah, uh, the meteors are going to come at him. Um, come on. So I'm going to aim them to be kind of where Big Smile's token is so that they don't hit anyone else except for Oh, oh okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, all right. Yeah, and so I've been, I because it hasn't been an issue until this point where I can That's always right. get it within, but it increased within five feet of where it impacts from. One and two. Um, okay, two deck saves. These have advantage. Success, success. So that's going to be uh, half to uh, eight points of damage total. Okay. And I'm double tapping with the magic missile at yep. second level. Okay. So one, two, three, four. 10, 14, 17? 17, yeah. All right. He's still up. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. He's hurt, though. Real fucking bad. All right. Quintus, you're up. Um. All right, let's hope this works. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, just shout out at the dragon. Um, grovel. Try and cast command on it. Yo. Yeah, his voice just cuts through the blizzard where to the point where everybody around can hear it. One of the clearest things you've heard this whole fight. Hmm. It works. Um, I have to save against it. Son of a bitch. If I had only made Zardarok not speak common. Um, <laughs> all right. So, uh, what kind of save is it? Uh, wisdom. It has advantage. Come on. Come on. 19? Yeah, that makes it. Oh, thank God. Okay. That would have been horrible. That's a save or suck spell. Um, uh. And then I'm going to move back 15 feet as to not get. Okay. All right, that's the end Time of your turn. Again. Yep. Tavira. So if I'm flanking with... Big yes, Smile, yes. All of these are at advantage. Correct. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. Three attacks against all this right. thing. Let's get it. Go, you psycho chieftain 22. lady. Hit. 26. Hit. 27. Jesus oh, nice. fucking Christ. I will use a divine smite on one of those. Okay. Wow. So wow, that eight. really, 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 really hurts. 45 hurt damage me. just with the attacks. 12, which I guess is reduced. So 51. Mm hmm. Wow, that is incredible. All right, well, it's fucking terribly wounded. I yell that out, by really the way. fucked it up. Creating me, I'll fake my through. Yep. 
I'm not pronouncing any of these words correctly. Nope, I don't but you are speaking a different language. Yeah. <laughs> I think the short one got to Sapphira too. Okay, <laughs> that is the end of your turn, Sapphira. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna actually use a bonus action to use my uh, blade ward. Okay, uh, Illican, you're up. So I could cast a spell on him, but I'm so low, and he goes like basically the next turn. Oh man, this is this is a tough decision, boys. Yeah, because if he if he gets his breath weapon back, there's no way that you stay up. No, I'm dead. You could definitely get out of range, though. You could throw a spell at him and then just move 60 feet away. That's true. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, I can move near V, right? V's out of range. Mm-hmm. Play it safe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just run for the hills. Uh, I can't. I can't. I could go even further than V. Just go back to Brent Chander. But would Ella yeah. run for the hills? Way. <laughs> we can take it from here. Just keep your concentration. <laughs> Oh man, he can basically reach anywhere on this map with his breath weapon. He can reach anywhere? On this map, yeah. Oh man, I wanted to call some lightning down on him, but I guess it's too risky. Yeah, that would get rid of Earthbind anyway. Oh, yeah, it's it concentration. Yep. Yeah, oh, most. Then never mind, easier, easier decision. 90 out of 100 druid spells are. I mean, it's, it's about to go away, like... What his turn? Two, two, rounds. two rounds. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. That's fine. I'll just um, I'll heal myself then. All right. So I'll 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 do the t- I'll tap into the big heals once more. Big healing. Big heals. Big healing. Come on, come on. One that's and two. Good. Damn. Okay, I'll take it. It's right in range to go down though. Yeah, run the fuck away though. Run away. <laughs> Let's see, so you have double how movement. Far can I go? I could go. Like, yeah, and your hasted off. action. So I could go like to the edge, basically. I mean, you can make your way actually out all the way out. So I could just go out. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like fill one of the circles on your token with how many feet off the map you are. Yeah, so it takes you sixty-five to get there, and then what? You get another. 60. 60 after that so it's yeah. 60 plus 60 120 plus 60 total. is 120 total so you're you're technically you're just like what is five feet less than 120 115 feet off yeah, so that. i'm like i'm like well like 50 something off or no he, yeah he, uh, he'd only be like 50 off because he had 50. to get 60 feet there and then yep. another 60 feet 50 sounds about yeah, right. Yeah, so you're 50 feet off, let's say. All right. Yeah, okay, I have it marked. All right. All right, so Illican is gone. He dipped. Super. But at the end of your turn, you have to make the save. Yeah. All right, I guess that's it. Yeah, Constitution. Constitution save. Oh, no, no, please. my bad. Right now, right now. Yeah, right now. This is it. We all wait for <sighs> faded breath. Oh, my God, Illican MVP. Oh. All right. Next in the order, Sonar. Uh, he will save against. I guess. I mean, he has nothing he can do. He's not leaving Gabar, so I guess he'll just save against the bless. Moonbeam this guy. Well, I guess he so could moonbeam him. Just kill him. Uh, he succeeds. Or no, he's blessing people. So. Uh. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I better have the bless. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. All right, it's the Charlin Dragon's turn. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. It's mind whipped, right? Yeah. All right. So it can only use its action or movement, but not both. Right. Okay. God, he couldn't even get very far.
So is there just like a golden thread running like 180 feet between this yes. dragon and <laughs> nice? With 120 feet of slack. <laughs> Oh boy, this thing is just having a tough time of it. God, she could fly. I wish she could fly. I can't believe that whole Earthbun thing worked. That was I should have just fucking. I should have. Ju I just thought it would be fun for you guys. I should have just fucking <laughs> legendary resisted it and destroyed Brinchander. Oh, you don't have to. I, I do. Want to save everyone. I have to. Think of how awesome it is for us to save Brinchander. This was just a decoy Shardland dragon. There's actually the real ones like destroying it right now. Oh no! Um, all right. Fifty-seven on the AC twenty-one. Sixty-two on the AC seventeen. All right. Fucking hell. He'll use his wings. <laughs> I need both of you to make deck saves. Okay. The, the zombies fail. Is this out of Vander Sapphire? Not for you, but for... Oh, wait. Yeah, no, not for you, Big Smile. I had advantage, right. but for okay. Sapphire, yes. 16. That succeeds. Okay. 24. Both succeed. Nothing happens. Um, then it will turn towards Big Smile and whack him with his tail. Beauty. 23? Yep, that'll hit. 18? Yeah, there goes the 10 pit points. And. All right. 26, big smile? Yep. Yeah. 16 flashing? Twenty-seven. Come on. Ouch. 20 slashing. All right. I mean, that hurts. Yeah, I don't think that. Uh, what are you at now? 19. Awesome. Um, and no one there to save you. All right. That's the, uh, that's the end of the Charlin Dragon's turn. We are now one turn. This is the last turn or the second to last turn? This is turn nine. This is turn nine. All right. He's just got to survive another turn. Big All smell. Right. I'm going to try and punch through this metal into the heart of this thing. Mm -hmm. 19. Uh, that hits. 5. Mm -hmm. 21. That hits. Another 8. Oh my Come god. On. 22. Another 9. <laughs> He's not going to make it. <laughs> wow. I should have gave him legendary actions. He's not gonna make it. Ever uh, too late. <laughs> he gets. He suddenly unlocks his legendary action. <laughs> when he gets at ten percent health. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know. Maybe that's true. Dragon's um, rage. Maybe that is true. Shardlin fury. Because <laughs> I'll tell you what. I know you guys are real stoked that you're butt busting this dude's ass. It's like saving Burnshander's not even in the book. <laughs> it is. But, oh, really? Oh, sure. Uh, none of this is... Uh, this is all part of the plan. A but smaller the dragon. I just need it to be more... All right, that's the end of the your turn? Yeah. Valen, she's going to cast Magic Missile. Her wand's running out of charges. Oh, don't use them all. She won't. She won't. Ten. All right. V. All righty. Let's see what I can do. Do, 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 do. Let's try an upcasted mind whip. Um. Oh wait, nope, that doesn't do anything. I just target more creatures. Never mind. Um. Yeah, I'm not too worried about her zombies over there. I'm gonna. 
finish this. Fireball. Hell yeah. Then you're on the cast, side with the zombies. Yeah, you're gonna cast yeah. it like this. Um, and then I will re-roll one, two, three. This one technically has a has a plus three to their save. Oh, those things are destroyed already. I think the zombies. Uh, yeah, they'll they're gonna. Or no, maybe they, they were knocked prone. Done that. Oh. They were knocked prone and they took two d six damage. So 70, 27 total. Seven, seven a piece. Oh, 2d6 plus four, I thought. Hold on, give me one second. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so they each have half hit points. Okay, yeah. and then what is it? 27 damage? Yeah. All right, yep. he gets advantage on the save. Oh, no, it's a plus four. Whatever this number is, plus four. Oh, he fits in seats. Um. And then what is the, so he takes 10 damage. What is it? Or 27, 13. 13? 27 and a half. All right, he's still up. Oh, no. Um, all right, that's my turn. All right, the zombies go. Are the zombies alive? Mm-hmm. What do the zombies kill him? Oh, how, how do the zombies want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Oh, <laughs> Say it. We gotta do it. No, the zombies <laughs> don't be the oh. <laughs> That's it for the zombies' turn. No more attacks by the zombies. Gabar, you're up. All right. Uh, two meteors and then one last upcasted um, magic missile is going to expend all my spell slots. All right, that's two saves, dexterity saves. Yep. Oops, this has a plus four. Uh, 19 plus 4 succeeds. Yeah, that succeeds. And then I, this one doesn't have a plus 4, it's regular. So 21. They both succeed. Half damage will be 8 points of damage. No, sorry. 7 points of damage. Okay. And then a second level magic missile. 1, 2, 3, 4. Damn, good roll. Eight, Two magic missiles are awesome. 11, 16. Good bar. No. That's it? Is that it? How do you want to do this? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Uh, we uh, saved Bridgehander. Uh, I'm looking, like, I'm winded. I'm tapped. I'm like, I'm counting the minutes down in my head until this guy can fly away. And just, I'm just like, fuck it. Just don't fail me now, bitch. And I just take the two fucking uh, meteors and I throw it. And directly after them are just four pieces of paper flying through the air crash all into it all at once right inside of its gaping maw okay <laughs> and as it's trying to cast a breath weapon one last time trying to muster up whatever energy it just clogs it and then the radiant energy just backtracks all the way down his throat <laughs> down to his chest where it explodes yeah he does explode so uh as oh, the fuck. as oh, the does. oh yeah he explodes <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> as so the, the energy goes down his core starts to overheat right and it's i'm right and there's this huge fucking explosion and chartalin explodes everywhere right it starts fucking raining down in huge chunks right some chunks the size of wagon wheels and other chunks like as small as shards of glass come fucking raining down all over the place everybody luckily enough dodges out of the way um, it doesn't do any damage but the charterland dragon explodes oh it's gonna be due to the side of the city you guys have defeated, round 10. you guys have defeated the charterland dragon Fuck yeah! Wow, that's crazy. Perfect timing too. That, I that oh, was like everything would have gone right. away. It sucks. That would have been. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks so bad. It would have been way cooler a different way. I promise. I don't know like that whole like trying to keep this guy grounded was pretty yeah. fucking intense. That was awesome. Like every con save that Illican had to I make know was you like guys fuck. thought it was intense. And the five in a row, five con saves in a row is ridiculous. Yeah. But yeah, yeah it was with that magic fun. missile. More than that, he made like twenty in a row. All right, he explodes. Well, together, he did stylish. not fail one time. That is Here's crazy. the thing. Yeah, ridiculous. You guys 
you know, recover after this. Your heads are ringing, right? There's a huge explosion with, with, and, and you know, you're like ringing, and you look over towards Bryn Shander, and you see fire. Oh fuck! Oh, those Durgar and the gents. Oh god damn it, bitches! All right. I need a nap. First. What do you guys want to do? <laughs> we we gotta go. Fucking yeah, but they can handle up. that. We There's no dragon. Soon. If they can't handle some damn Durga, they got a, more than one problem. Bye bye, Naiwe. What do you guys want to do? Let, let's the fuck is the Sapphira slurs. saying? Let, let's get Bell. We oh yeah, fuck. Sapphira. After okay? a couple of seconds, it fades. Does the does the haste fade as well? Yeah. Sapphira face plants into this. Yeah, thing. haste mm. is gone. Yep. You now have two levels of exhaustion. All right, get up. We gotta get on the sleds and. Uh, well, you, it can last for an hour, right? Oh, it is an hour. Oh yeah, so you're still good. I cannot fucking believe that you guys destroyed. I should have say it made the save. I should have made the save in the beginning. He had Every, all the opportunity to make that went save perfectly for us. In my Every... mind, I thought the spell ended as soon as he hit the ground. <laughs> mm. But I was wrong, and I should have known that. But it's okay. Here we are. So are we talking haste or the the haste is ended. You're fine. You face plant on the ground. But however, you wake back up after a second, and you are still. <laughs> oh yeah. The, okay. The jihad uh, still goes on. Yeah, it still goes okay. unless you want to drop it. No. Okay. So you guys have no idea what's going on with Sapphira. Let's keep going. Uh, we got time. I mean, we know Where's like it? that. The, we we identified the Did you? spear. I think. Okay, yeah, you can see that there's smoke like... like surrounding her head and stuff from this this spear. Yeah, I feel like a bar would at least kind of realize what she'd done and be like, "Well, that was probably not the right time to use it," but okay. Yeah, and but when it did the fire was... damage, what it is is this the 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 this so this weapon is made of like some sort of strange bone, right? It's just one spike made of some kind of large bone right and the core of it gets hot as fire and it goes out to the tip and the very tip is just white hot red right or like red hot and that's why it does deals fire damage but it's still like burning hot in your hands but you're fine it doesn't affect you and you guys want to what go towards bridge yeah mm -hmm. let's get on right. the sleds so quickly you get on your sleds and start riding towards bridge yeah Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 10, 10 minutes. You guys make your make it to the gate. And you can tell as you guys were riding up that it's the fire started in Bryn uh, in the town hall. And it's starting to spread out. What do you guys want to do? The gates are closed. Uh, uh fuck. I wonder if How tall are... is the uh how tall is the 20 feet? Uh, I'm, can I misty step to the top of it using my once per day free misty step and mm -hmm. just see if there's anyone on the inside like that's manning yes. the gate? Okay, so right. yes. So you misty step to the top of the gate um, and you have to like hold on because it's a little precarious. It, there's no like walkway up there, um, but it's oh, fine. Okay. You, you can manage. Um, you hold on to the top and you like look down. And yeah, there is a bunch of soldiers down there and they are currently fighting Duragar. Uh, I'll look back over, like, as I'm holding on, like, one of the spikes, be like, shit's fucked in here! Yeah, and look, uh, you can get an overhead view of the city, right? So let me yeah. pull you pull you over to the map real quick. So you oh, guys can sure. see that there is a... Here, I got tokens I can put on here. Perfect. Perfect. There's a fire in Town Hall. It is spread to here. And here. Oh, shit. And there is another fire. Up. Let's see. Where is that fucking warehouse? Down here. All right, so there's another fire that started down here. Um, and you're at the top of the North Gate. Uh, half a rope, Kabar. Can I do that? Can I 
I mean, because I only got one hand, right? Like, I don't know oh, how fuck. I can realistically reach in there, grab a rope, and toss it back over. I'm gonna start breaking through. First, the yeah, you only have one hand. Yeah, you like I'm set like up a mage yeah. hand to help you. I'm gonna start breaking through the gates. You can. can. I, I mean, it's gonna be crazy hard. Uh, yeah, you can. I can try. I'll, I'll down the gate. Up. Yeah. I mean, so let me explain to you what's going on. There's these like 15 foot tall, 18 foot tall, huge fucking wooden doors, right? And they are currently closed. There is a brace uh, bar that has been set into it like the fucking Helm's Deep, right? That's been set into it like this. And there are two logs that are leaned up against it, bracing the door shut. Okay, so, but uh, if you want to. But counterpoints, okay. if I were as intelligent as six. Okay, so. you start chopping into the gate with your spear or axe or whatever. What do you guys do? You levitate? Uh, yeah, I'm going up over. Okay, you go up and over. What's next? Is Gabar, did, did, was Gabar up at the top? Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. I'll, once I, um, yeah, I'll, I'll eventually drop off because I'm not strong enough to hold myself up. Right. There, so here's so. what I want you guys to do. I want you to tell me what your solution is. Figure it out and tell me what it is. Open the gate the correct way, the way that the guards do. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you would have to release these braces. So you'd need like six dudes yeah. to move the braces out of the way. Oh, what? I count as a half a dude right what now. What is a brace? Like a <laughs> board? Okay. So uh, there are these. Tree. Yeah, there's these huge yeah. logs that are like, yeah. I don't know, 20 feet long, right? And right. one end of them is up in a dirt, like there's like a dirt pile created. And one end of it is in the dirt. And the other end of it is leaned up against the wall or up against the doors, right? So it's a, a an angle brace, right? Door flat angle brace going down to keep the door from opening. I think we got to get a rope up there and just climb up and over. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Yeah. V, so. do you want to just tie a rope and throw it down? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Okay, Gabar, you can hold on. I mean, I won't though. I do want to <laughs> be on the ground. <laughs> All right. Do you Misty step down or you drop? No, I'll drop because I got no more spells. So how much damage do I take from that? Oh, only four. Okay. Yeah. Um, you drop to the ground on the other side, and you can see that there is a bunch of. Like there's like, I don't know, eight or so guards, uh, militiamen, and they're currently in a heated combat with Durgar. Fuck. Yeah, as soon as I drop, I'm gonna try to hide, find something to hide behind, because I do not sure. want to be a part of this without my Done, that's fine. Okay. okay, the rest of you are gonna use a rope to climb over? Yeah. yeah. Right, you guys start climbing over the rope and you start to climb back down. I need everybody to roll uh, like a D6. Everybody? Uh, everyone that's using the rope. Would I have noticed? I probably at that point would have noticed the rope. Yeah. Okay, okay Quintus. And that's it. Just Quintus. Um, while this is all going on, Quintus, uh, an arrow comes flying towards you. A stray arrow comes flying towards you from the one of the Durgar. <laughs> um, let me get a Durgar pulled up here. Does a 16 hit you? Yes. Six piercing. As, as you're climbing down the rope, all your friends are down or whatever, and just a stray arrow hits you in your shoulder and you're behind your back, you know, the back, your back of your shoulder. Um, but everybody sort of makes their way out. And you, you, it looks like the fight with these guards is under control. Um, like they got it. If you guys want to do something else, like you don't have to help them fight these Durgar unless you want to. Town hall. Get to town hall. Town hall. Okay. Yeah. Sapphire sees a yeah. Durgar. She is mm -hmm. about to like. Do you just want to start chopping on your way through? Oh, yeah. can I grab the back of her by like my misty or my mage hand and be like, more poor shit to go. I yeah. So, yeah. So Sapphira just like runs into the fight water. and starts fucking stabbing him with the spear, right? And like really starting to help these guys Her out. Actual voice comes in and says, "Kill them all." Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you grab onto Sapphira and you guys start heading towards town hall. All right. I mean, I try. I try like with ten pounds of force. So it's probably yeah. just like to try to distract. It's enough. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna chug a healing potion on the way. Um. Yeah. Absolutely. 
You chug a healing potion. Um, that's fine. Uh... <clears throat> All right. So as you guys are running down the street, you're heading towards Town Hall, right? And uh, you get relatively close to Town Hall, um, you know, within a couple hundred, couple hundred feet. See. You guys are coming through the north gate. Okay, you guys are like five or six hundred feet away, and you can see the 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 roaring flames of some sort of fire that's been set on Town Hall, right? And the whole market is fucking ablaze. And as you guys are running down the street, you see from an alley. Hold up, let me pull this notes up. Shit is still going down here. As you run through the city, three humanoids dash out from between two buildings um, on your right side as you're running down. And you can see that it's a, li- a, a halfling woman who's limping, right? And she's carrying like a toddler. Um, and behind her is a teenage halfling girl. And uh, they race across the street into more shadows on the other side. However, following behind them as fast as they can is a halfling male in a wheelchair, right? A wooden wheelchair. And as he's rolling past, he grabs onto the wheels and spins it around, draws a bow and pulls it taut. And you guys recognize this as toss up. Um, Mm. The guy who owns toss ups, Um, but he Mm. draws a bow and turns back from the alley, like towards the alley where he came from. Um, It seems that he's determined to stave off what whoever's coming. And then you see bursting out of the alleyway on it, on their heels is four Duragar. Um, what would you guys like to do? Running in and killing all Duragar. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we will start that at the beginning of next session. Okay. It's beauty. Um, because Brynn Jander is, is still under attack, but okay. It would have been way more cool if the dragon was there. Um, How were we supposed to like deal with that if we couldn't get it to land? It'll land eventually. Okay. You guys want me to tell you what was gonna happen? Kinda. Because the 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 methodology behind how it was gonna happen was pretty. I put like literally hours and hours and hours of work into it, and it just completely flushed down the toilet. That's why oh, I didn't sorry. feel so good about. No, it's so fine. fine. You guys <laughs> said <laughs> Brinchander. It was you know, Leo's fault. It, you guys yeah, want to fucking? I mean, Brinchander would have been leveled if you guys didn't like do what you did. You you fucking saved ten towns basically. You know these Durgar ain't shit. Like you guys said earlier, if the militia can't handle some Durgar. There's a problem, right? It's better we took out the uh, the dragon outside of town. That was the bigger threat yeah. than like all the Duragar and the dragon. And right, the right. But, but Jay, I, I assume yeah. your plan, and Jay, I'm sure you can elaborate. But uh, like, I guess you let me take him down with the earth bind because I made like an amazing roll, and it was somehow. Enough mm, that I let you. T- I I ended up doing that because I didn't want. <laughs> I wanted the the way I, I feel right now. the way that I planned it in my head. What was it? I didn't see it. Oh, it's well, the we saved the city, down, Patrick, and the city's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you probably thought that he was going to escape, right? I thought that he was going to be able to get away. Yeah. yeah, I thought as soon as he hit the ground, the spell ended. Because I thought what would be fun is you guys get a couple licks in, and it'll be make the fight easier later down the line, right? Is you get a couple licks in, mm-hmm. and then he flies yeah, off. Yeah. And then we go into the fun version of my encounter where um, I have the city divided up into sections, right? And I will, at the beginning, uh, and there's going to start into this sort of pseudo combat where mm, I see. every every round is 15 minutes, right? Um, and it takes about 20 minutes to get from one side of the city to the other. Um, so each round is about 15 minutes. And I was going to roll a D8 at the start of the round. Whatever round that that starts like whatever i rolled right if i rolled a two that's where the dragon is attacking for that 15 minutes right Mm -hmm. if you found yourselves already in that area you can attack the dragon right because he's going to be swooping down so he's going to be low enough for you guys to do shit to him try to earth bind him in the city whatever right but if you weren't in that square i have like 20 encounters that i made up that are things that that could be also happening in this town 
right? Oh, fuck. That but that's currently fun. not not going on. So the only thing that are happening are the Duragar encounters because that's all that they are. That's all that's left. We could always do what we did with Tomb of Annihilation and save it again. this game where it's at and then yeah, run this again because that does sound fun. Yeah, it's awesome. And so, and it would have been way more crazy because it's like, you don't know where the dragon's gonna be, and and then eventually there was just gonna be a final showdown. Like once once enough encounters had played out and enough rounds, it was like, okay, well he's you guys have already harried him. You know, you've done like a hundred points in damage. You know, like let's just mm -hmm. fucking let's just yeah. fucking yeah. It does sound it fun. I do like That's having a town to live in as well. Yeah, you guys fucking nailed it. Like the the, the uh, town is saved. Like even though it's on fire, it, it, it's been through worse. You yeah, know, this is manageable. <laughs> It yeah, you guys was, literally fucking saved the day. It was pretty satisfying to have a plan like your plan A actually work out to fruition. Like, I'm I feel, I, I feel I'm, like that never ever happens. I'm glad that you guys did it. I mean, fucking right. It changed that just the only reason that I am like feeling some kind of way about it is because I put all this work into it's it and now it's yeah. fucking yeah. trash. <laughs> you know, but it's I get that still though. Like, that I was, totally get that feeling. You went through nine rounds of combat. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty intense. Yeah, he had like we've over... never fought that long. No, yeah, he had like so. three hundred and seventy-eight or something in hit points. Wait, how, how long nuts. was the sour rack? Not that long. Yeah, yeah I don't think it was that long. It was like, yeah, probably like, like six, six or seven. seven at most, yeah, because so, yeah. we did a couple of rounds really quickly because he was still in the sky. Right. You know, we went through like three yeah, or four rounds two, before three. he even landed. Yeah, the there's gonna be like. Like four destroyed buildings, like town hall. I stables, so badly house. should have. I so badly should have done legendary actions. Like I, I was like, oh, he doesn't need legendary actions because you're gonna be fighting him in such a shitty scenario. You know, well, like you're gonna, be, you're gonna be you're gonna be combating him in the city, right? But I didn't plan for that. I should have had an alternate plan. That's just my fault. You know, but you know what? <laughs> you guys kicked its fucking ass. Yeah. Congratulations. That, um, Thank you. That, that, that is Charlene it. thing, you could have made that a legendary action pretty easily. Oh, like I could have done a million different things, but you know what? I didn't, yeah. and you guys kicked its ass, and guess what? That is no longer a threat. You guys we did it. The you pounds. saved, yeah. well, you well. saved Bryn Shander. <laughs> 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 the rest of the 10 pounds are fucking level, but yeah. you saved Bryn Shander, and that's what's fun. <laughs> Next week, we'll take care of what remains of the Duragar. Right. And, you know, so that might be, you know, some interesting stuff that happens. Plus, you guys are fucking taps, so it's going to be challenging. Um, yeah. And yeah, one first level spell slot. I don't know, know if like a bar is going to fare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So once you guys take care of that, 10 towns is basically saved. And you, yeah, for now. And I, I think, I think like next session is the end of like season one of the game. Yep. Like that, that, this is sort of the, the next week will be the finale of season one. Cool. Yeah, I mean, there's like seasons, kind of three there? arcs to this. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. three, okay. Yeah. Damn. So okay. how long have we been playing together? We're like a third of the way through. Yeah. We're about a third of the way through. Really? Jeez. Mm -hmm. This is a long game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it two, is a long like game. 70 sessions. Uh, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So this would have been like halfway through town. Yeah, I know. We by this time we were already in the well into Omu. Omu, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so probably, this campaign yeah, is, yeah, this campaign is longer for sure. Cool. Um, but there, there's you guys. I mean, there's way cooler stuff in here. This was one of my favorite things, though. The Charlin yeah. Dragon is really fucking cool. Um, like yeah, back to back was. fights of Zardarok and then the dragon yeah, all of sick. that stuff is pretty cool. Like this is yeah. this is something that uh, when I saw that in the adventure, I was like. Wow, this is incredible. You know, like there's they don't do this shit in D and D adventures. Like you got you, everything that you've ever known in Ten Towns is fucking destroyed, except yeah. for Shander. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's still pretty intense. And like that, that's just like they have to recover from that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah it's pretty messed up. Yeah. There's like a lot. I gotta of delete all my notes now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just worried about you know if there's no good mead, that means there's no mead, which is problematic. I mean, a lot far. of the, like there's uh, no uh, more towns on the lakes. Yeah, like all the lake towns are gone too. Like everything is gonna be fucked. So when Valin was talking to you guys earlier, she was like, "Oh, you know, like you can help me with your quest ap after this, but like you're gonna need to help stabilize." 10 towns before you guys just dip the fuck out. 
Well, it's we not like she uh, have the map to where to go. Yeah, we gotta kill Maxwell Dinar before we leave. <laughs> no, I was gonna say like our next, uh, we take care of Maxwell Dinar and then we go over to Caradendaval and just beat up Seaver. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I really am. I'm. Ex- I don't have no idea what to even do next session. Like everything that I've ever done is built up to this moment. Now I have to like <laughs> change into second, the second season of the show. You know. Cool. Well, it was a good fight. It okay, was a good you fight. You guys yeah, fucking pummeled that thing. Um, so I'm I'm proud. And I told you guys you had no problems taking care of that thing. I told I, you we could uh, take them. <laughs> you always you know, say you that. You said that. You, you, <laughs> you totally always say that. that. Sure. But yeah, <laughs> n- 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 there's more fights to come. This is not the this is not the most challenging uh-huh. fight in the in the campaign. Sweet. There's still an end great. end of the campaign boss. You know that was yeah. that was end of season one. You still yeah. got season two and season three. Damn. Yeah, like we're level six. Wait till. Like yeah, it goes up to like thirteen. And stuff. Cool. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. I think so. Somewhere around there. But all right, guys. We're heroes of the towns. You just fucking saved the ten towns. Yay. Good. Hey, I gotta say, as much shit as I was giving you guys, you guys did a fucking fantastic job. Everybody yes, put in the work, fine. and it Good was job, you guys fellas. did a great job. Um, all, right. all right. Next week, eh? Next week. I will Next see week. you guys then. Good. All right. All right. Cheers, boys. Bye bye. Bye.